Please welcome retired filmmaker George Lucas. Hey there. Um George, I'm going to I'm going to bring on There's Ben's camera. He's coming. George, I'm going to bring on our next guest. I'm not sure where Watto is just yet. I, I think you sent us the wrong link maybe in the private chat. I don't think so because Ben got here. I got but here Ben's pretty good, talented. Man. He's a genius. Okay. Thank you, George. I think you're incredible also. American Graffiti, Howard the Duck, all that stuff I think is incredible outside of your movies. You American movie. Graffiti? Uh, I've never seen it before. You've never you seen, seen it? it? No, but I feel like I feel like many people have told me I must. You know what's you know what's cooler than American Graffiti? I love this joke. When you tell this joke, it slays. I love this joke. Yeah, yeah. What's cooler than American Graffiti? More American Graffiti. Ah. Wado, Wado, I'm going to bring in the next guest, and he's going to tell you how to introduce himself, okay? Okay, and Ben, I want to make it clear. The box office game is done, because our new guest might not be down to play the box office game. Of so course, we have it's to over. Right, right, right. let you stay, but you cannot dominate the show anymore. I won't say anything. I'll leave. I'll leave. No, no, no. Stay. Stay. I'm just saying. Let's tread carefully, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, of course. David, Hello, you're, on, you're on the show, but you're not live. You're, well, you no, 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 no. You, you are live. Everyone can see you and hear you, but okay. you're not on the show yet. He said the opposite of what is true. I, I, I am so happy to be here, whether or not anyone can hear or see me. They can, but you haven't been introduced yet. <laughs> right, right. Of course so not. it means it's not canon yet. This isn't real. Wait, wait. Is that the rule that it's not canon until someone has been introduced with their name and title? Yeah. That's how the George Lucas talk show works, baby. Up until okay. this point, you're just legends. I'm just legends. Okay. But wait, okay. No, wait, I have a Star Wars question then, but introduce me then. Or don't. Yeah. I mean, it's your well, How do you want to be introduced? D David Sims. Okay. <laughs> Let's say it with that exact intonation. Mm -hmm. Folks, Grogu's and Gragas, <laughs> it's my great pleasure to introduce David Sims. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's a devastating impression of my my conversational style, Wado. Thank you. You got the Wado. You got the Wado. I did. I did get Wado. Yes, I do tend to flail my arms in the air. Um, the Mandalorian. I, I, I'm good. I'm good. It's nice to see everybody. Ben, it's really nice to meet you. Oh, David, um, lovely to meet you. Um, just want to because the Mandalorian is not introduced by name, like ever. He's just mm. Mando or whatever, right? So is he not canon? This is just on my mind now that you, you're introducing these canon rules. Mm -hmm. That's how hey, it Well, first of all, just tread the carefully. Part. Tread carefully. We're not spoiling Mandalorian uh, season two until midnight. That's We're going to until midnight. Why would you spoil it at midnight? Because midnight is when Mando Mondays start. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Um, I mean, not. And, and I mean, also, not if you spoil it, we're gonna we're yeah. gonna give warning at midnight. We're not gonna just throw it out at people. We're gonna give people a chance to get off the get away from it, so they're not spoiled. Mm -hmm. um, I would but, ask David what he thinks about that, by the way, because I can't imagine David would be pro spoilers. Has the Atlantic ever uh, spoiled anything? The website, not the print edition. I uh, yeah, I've been accused of spoiling things all the time. We try to attach a very bold uh, spoiler warning if there is the least bit of spoiling going on in mm -hmm. any movie review mm -hmm. because people, some people get very angry about that. Yeah. Um, it's I tough. There's to movies fair. where there's plot that needs to be discussed. To mm -hmm. be fair though, also the Atlantic did uh, mm -hmm. issue spoilers without the warning that uh, President Trump called people who enlisted in the military loose. <laughs> that was a spoiler. <laughs> yeah, that was a spoiler. <laughs> he was not ready to tell that to the public, if ever. <laughs> uh, yeah, he, and it's it's debatable. I mean, it's certainly canon. There's no question. That's yeah. not legend. Oh, that was canon. canon. No. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's uh, true. Though we did do that. David, how's your life day going? Um, pretty good. Mostly spent building an IKEA dresser. Uh, solid life day, I would say. Yes. Okay. Yes. How's your Is life that... day, guys? What? It's not in the background. You're about to ask, George. I could feel you ask. Is yeah, that I want to see. I'm not trying to get the, the, the director in the background. Other end of the apartment. No, this is the office. This is. Uh, oh wow. 
Oh, it's all me now. Is that a yeah. second chair? It's a second chair that I got for free. Uh, uh, and now it's here. Now it sits here because the chair company sent uh, my wife and I the wrong chair. And we were like, we don't need this chair. Uh, come uh, come get this chair. You sent us the wrong chair. We've been, dating, like, we've been learning a little bit about people's sexual fetishes like George Loves Feet, we mm -hmm. learned. Is mm -hmm. is something in your household, the back of heads? Is that why that that chair is literally right behind you all day? Oh my God, it is? <laughs> oh my God, David. You know that scene in Eternal Sunshine when he remembers the back of Elijah Wood's head but not the front and he's yeah. turning him around? <laughs> it's always the, would Love that me. be the ultimate? The old, like that. There's someone in a theater who's just like, oh, I, I don't know how I feel right now. This is crazy. Little David was watching that movie and all of a sudden he goes, Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa. It's kind of genius. Wow. David, can I you do us a favor? Like. Yeah. Can you sit in that chair? Sure. Oh, God. This is it. Oh, this is what and Patrick likes. <laughs> Patrick <laughs> likes it. Patrick likes to see someone shoot. Oh, I understand now. I thought you had a weird chair that had sort of a slice down the middle of it, like it it, it had a weird indentation. But that was just a a scarf it's a hoodie, or, or a hoodie. But here, check this. Mm -hmm. Patrick, you like this? Chair, you do like this? But it does this. It goes like this. Oh, oh my god! god. Liner. Oh my they sent god! Us this fancy chair, and we said this is not the chair, and they said so sorry. We'll send you the chair you ordered, which is far less fancy. And we were like, well, what do we do with this chair? And they were like, oh, I don't know. Keep the chair. They didn't, who cares? Just have the chair. Wow. That's David, what's, David, what's the closest steel book to you right now? The closest. This is no the closest. No cheating. Don't pick the most impressive. Hey. This is the closest. I, I knew this might come up because I oh, remember okay. last time I was on the show. Your steel book boy. There was steel book talk. This is the closest steel book. What's your favorite steel book? This is what we'll judge you on. And then, by the way, the second you pull it, Wada's going to tell you budget gross, <laughs> budget domestic worldwide. What Billion. was that steel book? I couldn't see it. Uh, it was the like, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, so it's a T. That's why it's, it's at the end right. of the show. Right. So not your favorite movie, but your favorite steel book. Maybe right, that's... Book. That's that's okay. So this is a little embarrassing, but I do think this is my favorite in terms of the design. Can't wait. Okay, and I'm gonna guess budget this domestic steel... worldwide. Okay, okay. This is the steel book for Alita: Battle Angel. Ooh, oh, the, the Robert Rodriguez movie, and it's just that's her hand. Hard it's her weird, her weird like ivory. It's very cool. Okay, Patrick, will you please will you please look up the number? I'm already in it. I'm waiting for you. I got it. Ready? Yep. I'm going to say budget is 180. They're playing with James Cameron money, baby. How are we doing? It he was an expensive movie. Form. He's so good at this. It's insane. David, I know your profession is to probably know these things as a piece, but he is, I can't, he, it's 170. He's 10 million he, off. What was, the, good at it. what was gross US? What was gross world? I guarantee you get this incorrect. One of these is going to be very wrong. Okay. Gross, no hints. Gross U.S. I think was pretty close to a hundred. I think it was very close to a hundred. So I'm I'm going to make that my guess. Eighty-five. Okay, little high, little high. But worldwide, I think is where it kind of overperformed. So well, I'm you're going, worldwide water. <laughs> I I am worldwide water, and that's why I okay. changed the name. Okay. I'm going to guess that worldwide it did three fifty. 404, you're a magician in this world, by the way. No okay. more game. I just want to hear David talk. I just needed to hear that. It was too good of a pull. No, no, no. Yeah. Believe me, I love to play the box office game, which I invented. Just FYI, I invented the box office game. Oh, you oh, did? Wow. God. I mean, come on. I was on my podcast, Blank Check, and Griffin Newman and I were talking about the Sixth Sense, and he was like, I could probably remember the top five of that, that movie's opening weekend, top five movies. Wow. That, that was the invention of that game. Yeah. Wow. Uh, David, have you told yeah. us the life they wish yet? More steel books. More steel books. That's what I. That's what I want. I want another shelf. I have one little shelf. I want more. David, yeah. will you say McClunky? We need a clean read of the word McClunky. McClunky. How is that? 
I'd love to see George direct. I haven't seen George direct in, in so long. Yeah, sure. George, can you actually direct David? Direct like you would on the set of a Star Wars or a Graffiti. All right. Um, it was mostly really good. Uh, I need you to lift your head up because you're really low in the frame. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Get your hands off the front of your face. Mm, uh, mm. Defense mechanism. Actually, if you could stand. Mm, okay. I mean, but then it's hard to angle the camera. I can sort of crouch. Yeah, is crouch cool? is good. Oh, yeah, like, no, mm -hmm. do that good with your hands like that. Do this, Move do your this, hands like very fast. Hand. Right, right, right. Yeah. Move your hands. Clunky. Wait till I say uh, action. I okay. Wait till no, I say I, action. I was just, I was trying something. I mean, look. All right. That's good. All right, here we go. You ready? Start to move your hands. Why? And action. <laughs> McClunky. Great. Cut. See, that's that more, nice. you know, famously, your directing style is faster with more energy, right? That's yeah, what you I know, would say. I, I absolutely know that's exactly what I would say. Um, hold on. Ben, I think I have the thing here for. Ben, I think you would be a good auctioneer. Do you agree? Sure, I'll do it. What do you need me to do? Is it for the kids? It's for the kids. I want to auction off this extra shirt that got mailed to me. It says, Happy Life Day. It was made by Bring the Noise in the chat. Okay, great. Ben, help us auction it off. How does it work? I can't we'll, see any incoming we'll bid. It. We'll do it in the live chat. Can you see the comments that people are saying? Oh my God, someone's typing. David, you're typing You're typing on a steel keyboard so hard. <laughs> I have a mechanical keyboard. It's yeah. very loud. That's why. Okay, here we it's go. Great. I can see I can see the comments. Okay. okay, ready? So We're far, we've got 100. If anyone wants to go over 100. Here we go right now. What's the, what's the product one more time, Patrick? It is this. Uh, light Happy Life Day T-shirt with Chewbacca on it. Patrick, if you sign the back, would it lose money or make money? Unclear. I'll let I'll leave it up to the person if they want. Okay, we'll leave it up to the person, and the person can also know that he'll write as much or as little on the back as you want. He'll write a whole story, or whatever you want. Yeah. Here we go. One thirty. One thirty. One BBBR. One one thirty. One BBR. Who wants more? One thirty. One one thirty. One thirty. Someone wants you to kiss it, Patrick. Someone wants you to kiss it. Kiss the shirt. Sure. Patrick, kiss the shirt right now. Kiss it right now. Kiss it right now. Okay, let's see what happens. One thirty. One thirty. Two thirty. One one forty. Flatman lives. One forty. One forty. One thirty point zero one. You missed it. Kiss it again, Patrick. They want you to kiss it again. Kiss it again. What size is it, Patrick? You didn't give any information. What size is it, Patrick? Uh, um, it is a, uh, but, 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 I think it's a medium. I want to say because I'm it's a medium. Sadlock Holmes 150. Sadlock Holmes 150. 155. 155. Kiss it, Patrick. Kiss it. Kiss it. Kiss it, Patrick. Kiss it. Stop <laughs> kissing it. They're saying stop kissing, Patrick. Medium. Medium. 155. 155. 155. Going once. 155. Going twice. 155. Going. 165. Sadlock Holmes. Kiss it, Patrick. Wow. Kiss it, Patrick. Kiss it, Patrick. Kiss it, Patrick. 165. Going back. Okay, ready. Stop kissing it. Eat the shirt. Don't eat the shirt. It'll lose value. Eat the shirt. Okay, here we go. 165 going once. Sadlock Holmes. Sadlock Holmes, 165. 165 uh, going twice. 10, 9, like, eight, cut 7, 6, 170. 180 wow. BBR. 180. What is that baby Yoda to kiss it. Get baby Yoda to kiss it. They're saying baby Yoda needs to kiss the shirt. Too many Patrick germs. You got to disinfect it when it comes out. COVID. All right. One, we're at, well, okay. The number right now is Sadlock Holmes 180. Sadlock Holmes 180. Here we go. Going once. Sadlock Holmes uh, going. Uh, JJ Jardo's kissing it. Sadlock Holmes Push going the tongue. twice. Push the tongue out. 10, 9, 185. One BBBR. This shirt, what you got for free, is going to go for 180, 200. Hell Who yeah. is Sadlock Holmes? Tell us what are they allowed to say what their real names are? No? I don't, they can say whatever they want. If you want to, Sadlock Holmes, two hundred dollars towards the charity is feeding America. Two hundred dollars yeah. was feeding America. Grogu kisses are the vaccine. Okay. <laughs> Ten, nine, Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two hundred by Sadlock Holmes. Five, four, two hundred. Sadlock Holmes. Three, two, one. 200 to Sadlock Holmes. Yeah. 200. I also, right. as someone, hang on. Sadlock as Holmes someone who. Email. George, hang on one sec. Sadlock Holmes sure. has got to email the George Lucas talk show at gmail.com uh, with their address and then send the money in and we will mail it. And George will, of course, give you a quick little thank you, George. Thank you so much, Sadlock. That was very generous. And you've helped some people today. That was very good. And as someone who, you know, I, I, I've, you know, been something of an innovator over the decades and I can spot when there's a new thing happening. I always have my antenna up for, for when innovation is happening. I'm pretty certain. I'm pretty certain that we just witnessed 
uh, a certain innovation in kissing technique that I'm not familiar with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The open mouth, closed teeth kiss <laughs> that Patrick was giving to that shirt, where he, the lips were wide open. It was not a closed mouth kiss, but his, kiss. his teeth, wow. his teeth were firmly uh, closed off. Wow. Well, because he's got he's got these pearly whites. He's got a great smile. He wants to of show course. it off. That's yeah. the origin of it. That's the prequel. That's the prequel. Wow. That's um, the prequel of it. Guys, do you guys have any final parting thoughts we can leave to the world? David. Oh, my parting thoughts. I mean, I gotta come on. I, it's been months. Yeah. I gotta come on soon or do a full steel book retrospective with you guys. The agree. collection's expanded. Steel book special. Uh, steel books. Twin ups and downs, you know, a lot of wins, a lot of losses. Mm. Next year, got to give it one hundred ten percent. That that that's resonant, right? That resonates. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ben, mm -hmm. you want to add to this? I think what you're like... saying is exactly right, David. I also was just told by Patrick in the chat that you guys play this fucking budget game every week. Had no idea. Very mean of you. Or Wado must have listened into your podcast, David. No I idea. Think, Otto, I don't know very well. I mean, he clearly is just a natural for it. But I mean, yeah, that's the way to think about it. 2021 good per yeah. screen average. That's what we want. We want a nice, healthy per screen average. <laughs> that's what we're looking for. What's, what's, what's yeah. interesting to me about that, Ben, is that you're the one who introduced the game. It was. Yeah. yeah you introduced I, the I, game. I, and it, I know it makes me feel game. that David is like a master con artist in the way that. Somehow he made you think that you would introduce this, but he's been working this. He and his partner have probably been working this con for a long time. Yeah, Getting you to come on stream. Yeah, you were the mark here, Ben. Someone is saying they. Someone is saying they refresh. Yeah. Someone is saying they refreshed the stream and got the Ben Schwartz Taco Bell app. How is that possible? Yeah. Because, <laughs> okay, good. That's why I came on, guys. Thank you no. so much. All right, no, guys. Ludicrous. Thank you guys so much. This has been super Anytime. fun. Happy Life Day. A pleasure. Nice to meet Happy you, David. Day, Watto, nice to meet Watto. you too, ben. A pleasure, Watto. A pleasure, Watto. Watto. Patrick, an absolute pleasure. Talk world to you guys. Worldwide, baby. Worldwide. Bye, Ben. You're the king of the box office, Ben. George, no. Bye, bye, you, worldwide, baby. Watto. Bye, Ben. Bye, guys. Hands up, everybody. Hands up. The best. Uh, now, guys, I... I gotta bring on the next guest. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm just gonna bring him on, and we're gonna see how he needs to be introduced. Okay? We'll just see how he needs to be. Whoever this is, we'll see how they need to be introduced. Am I? Am I? Am I on? Yeah. Yeah, you're on. Okay. And, it, and <laughs> it's how I. I get to pick how I'm introduced. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm under contract, so I have to be introduced as Stephen Pickleman Charleston. From Sucker Punch. Okay, uh -huh. take him out of here. With the TM. Don't forget the take TM. <laughs> Folks, I, I, I'm almost at a loss for words here. Sometimes we have a surprise guest drop, and then this is one of those moments. Guru Grudas and Gra Gras, please give a hearty round of applause to... Back on Pickle Man, Stephen Pickle Man Charleston, TM yeah. from Sucker okay. Punch. I just wasn't sure what the TM was. Give a hearty round of applause to Stephen Pickle Man Charleston, TM from Sucker Punch. What's up? Pickle Box! Pickle Box! Woo! Steven, can you refresh that gun and do it again? That was fun. Yeah, I don't know if I have to. It's still going. Oh I, just try, I have more pickle bucks than anybody. Pickle bucks. Tell us pickle bucks. Yeah, they gave me they gave me all the pickle bucks I want. Just I just gotta wear this shirt and um, eat. Just keep eating. Yeah, let's take a look at this shirt because this shirt's important. <laughs> yeah. Now, Steven. But I can't. I'm not allowed to cover it when I eat it. I have to eat around the shirt. Did Sucker Punch send you a new camera? You appear to have one of Bono's early 90s cameras from this new TV tour. That's right. They said you got to go wide. The problem is, <coughs> God, these are so hot. It never stops being hot. <laughs> the problem is that where, where I have my camera is in this narrow little area. So a lot of the picture gets cut off anyway, even though we went wide. But now we're wide, worldwide. We're worldwide. I know. Okay. Wait a second. 
Yeah. This is clearly historic television. Yeah. As of this moment, we have 645 people watching live. I see, I, think is, I see 671, Watto. It's the most we've ever had at a single moment, I believe. Probably. And my, my response to that is not high enough. <laughs> I think this is the moment to do the call to action. I've been waiting for the right moment all day. If you are watching this stream, please text one other person you know with yeah. the link to this stream and go, yeah. can you please just do me a favor and, and tune in right now. We're trying to break a viewing record. I want to surpass 1,000 views with Stephen Pickleman, Charles, the TM. Pickleman, Pickleman. We're not going to get a bigger guest today. No. This is the moment this to spend happening. all the cachet we have with our friends and family. Let me ask a right. question. Where are we on the money? Oh, wait, I'm actually, someone in Jersey Dave is saying 737. Uh, we are currently at $23,370.67, Stephen Pickleman, TM, it's Charles. Okay. Okay. I, here's the situation. Yeah. I prepared something because I want to make more money for us. Yeah, we yeah. do. So for every, um, <laughs> for every hundred more dollars we get, I have poured spicy pickle brine into these shot glasses, and I have five of them. And for every hundred more that we get while I'm here, you tell me when it's going back, baby. Okay. 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 What's, What's that Sucker number, punch. Patrick? Sucker it is punch pickle brine is smooth and silk. We are right now at twenty three three seven zero six seven. So this is your time to get in those four dollar friends, to get okay. in one two dollar, five dollar, ten dollar, whatever you can. Now's the time. I, I mean, look, it, all it would take is five. One hundred dollar donations. How many shots do we have there? Four or five? Five, five. I had to put one in this Prince Edward Island shot glass, but Ooh. the rest are these. So it could be five one hundred dollar donations. It could be ten fifty dollar donations. It yeah. could be five hundred dollar donation. But the clock is ticking, and we want to see Stephen Pickleman Charleston TM from Sucker Punch have to drink all of this spicy pickle brine. It's on smooth as silk. You guys have 12 minutes. We got 12 minutes to get this done. The 500. Oh. Wow. Stephen, how have you been? I've, I've been better than ever, George. I've actually been better than ever. I could now, I, you know, for a little while, I was sort of leaning on Rich for some, uh, some sustenance, but now I've got my own income. It's, uh, yeah. it's all, all me all day through, through my friends at Sucker Punch Gourmet. Uh -huh. We, should, we should explain this. You ate Sucker Punch pickles on stream and it caught their attention and their social media team reached out to you and That's said, right. this, this is real this is real they because real. of your appearance eating those pickles on this show reached out and said can we start our relationship that's true and now i'm sponsored this 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 part's up for interpretation i uh, but i believe it to be true i think i'm now sponsored and yeah. i believe i don't have to worry about anything anymore from here on out no. Now, now, Stephen, what is uh, what is the status on getting branded pickles? Oh, uh, that's a great question because I think we can all agree that this guy's great and everything. Yeah. But we'd love to. We'd love to. Let me see if I can take down some of that. Boy, it's awful yeah. bright. Uh, we'd love to see. We'd love to see me on that jar, wouldn't we? Now, Stephen, I mean, all I got to say about that guy on the jar, he could use a T-shirt on his head. Yeah. <laughs> It's not a kid. This, this is a, yes. this is a, a, a dish rag. Oh, it's a dish dish rag. rag. <laughs> Famously, he wears a dish rag atop his head. I didn't know the lore. So wait, so wait. <laughs> what we have been doing is telling people to tweet. What was it? At Sucker Punch Pickles. Is that their name? Yes. Um, it's at, it's, I think it's at. Uh oh. I gotta look it up. I'll look I it up. I'll look it, it up. I'll look it up. Uh, look it up. It's at Sucker Punch Pick. And we've been yeah. telling him to say, I want to Steven my pickles. Is that what it is? <laughs> I think it was something like that. I don't remember what the, uh, my hashtag. Yeah, we're going to make it. Reload. Pick, we're we're going to make it, I want to Steven my pickles. Pickle box. Pickle box. Uh, so here's what we need. We need people to tweet at Sucker Punch Pick. I want to Steven my pickles. But more importantly, we need people to, to donate. 
a hundred dollars or five hundred dollars yeah. to feed right. America. Yeah, yeah, that's even more important. That's Get you a person who can do both. Can can we update? Can we see? Has there been any donation of size? <laughs> you guys want to update? You want the new number? Yeah, yeah we were at three seventy last I saw. Okay, yeah, those new numbers. Hang on one second. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> Okay. The new number. Hang on a sec. This is very exciting. Um, did you do you still have your old camera? Are you are you still at Rich's house? No, I'm still at Rich's house. Yeah, but uh, no, I threw that old camera in the trash. All right, Here we so go. You haven't your life. Here we go. What do we have? Uh oh! <laughs> 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 oh that, wait, if my math is correct. You're drinking all five, big boy. <laughs> Definitely drinking all five. Even I think you're finishing that jar or whatever's in that jar. <laughs> well, that's good because this stuff's so smooth. It doesn't matter. I'm I'm excited about it. Yeah. Frankly. Yeah. Good. All right. Well, so you just, start drink, with, just drink them. You start with yeah. ready. Just pick one and drink it. <laughs> yeah. All righty. Uh, yeah. It's not, it's not a problem for me. Oh, motherfuck. <laughs> That's so good. Wait, should we be watching these with the goggles? Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh, should I wait? <laughs> no, 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 you're I, doing I, everything right. We just want to make sure we don't get hurt watching this. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh. Just keep going then. Yep. Yeah. Uh, good job, everyone who donated. That was a $1,000. Oh no! <laughs> What's nice is they have a. <coughs> it's a there's a low acidity yeah. in it, and it doesn't like normal pickle juice would be eating away at your stomach lining by now. But not this, not sucker punch. Not sucker punch. Steven, did you see this for your consideration uh, billboard? It's yep. up in it's up in Los Angeles. Doesn't it? Yep, doesn't I saw it. It doesn't make sense to me. Uh, any yeah. of what it says. There's no, a typo. There's it it says really rich wrong. Summer. Someone made right. a presumption it's that's not true. But I love it. I love it. Rich people Summer are as Stephen Charleston. And what it should say is Rich Summer was Stephen Charleston's old roommate. That's or, right. or, or Rich Summer used to support Stephen Charleston financially. Right. Yeah, he but not anymore. He not still lives with him. Yeah. Now I got my own thing going on. Wow. That was really good. Thanks, everybody. You finished oh. them all? You finished them all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What about what? whatever juice is left in that jar? Is there some more in the jar? Is there an amount that could be raised that would make you do another round of five? Here's the thing. I'll tell you, I'll tell you a little piece of truth. When I poured these originally, I poured them through a little strainer. So uh -huh. like the mustard seeds and the pepper flakes wouldn't be in there. <laughs> But this second round ought to have um, a little more zots, as they say. Yeah. <laughs> now I um, think we should. I think we should double the amount at least. Well, if, if we, have, these are we, have, we have raised an extra two hundred, so I think. Oh, good, good, good. Oh, then this is great. This yeah, is this has already been paid for. It's, it's yeah, two hundred per. Oh, this one's a very. I don't know if you can oh. see this. Let me see if I can get you. Get this. Uh, lit from behind it all but it's a real floaty oh, you see boy. all the stuff in the oh, bottom oh yeah. boy steven <laughs> yep do you guys mind if i just run and get a glass of water real quick not hey, man, not. you do what you gotta do you got five minutes we got five oh, minutes shit. we've never okay. seen you run we've never seen steven charleston run before oh, this will be this interesting is great. this is one of the things i do this is great. <laughs> more lord more lord so wait it's two hundred dollars I don't know if my I don't know if my stream froze for a second. <laughs> yeah. But he ran away the way a cartoon character just disappears from the spot. I don't think yeah. that. these pickle box. <sighs> oh boy. Steven, what a jolt of energy. Mm. Oh. Steven, you couldn't have arrived at the better time. I'm glad that I'm glad that you didn't have to spend time with Rich's family, even though you live with him today, because I know he was yeah. busy. He was busy, busy but not me. I got nothing but time to talk about Sucker Punch and their smooth as silk pickle brine. 
Speaking of which, at Sucker Punch Pick, I want to Steven my pickles. Yep. Uh, oh, that's a different experience than the first round. And make sure you let them know that you want Steven Charleston branded pickles. Let them know what we're trying to say here. A limited run. Small batch. Yeah. yeah. And that you would buy them. All, all they need to know is if they made a batch of branded Stephen Charleston pickles, they would earn their money back and then some. Mm-hmm. I don't. I'm, I'm debating whether this is a great. <clears throat> I mean, it's a good cause. It's a great cause. It's, a great it's just cause. the idea that I'm questioning the merit of at this point. I think there's. I think there's merit in it. Oh yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, we're bumping up against Stephen. Stephen, what's your up against capabilities at this point? What's that? What's your life day wish, Stephen? Uh, my life day wish is, uh, ooh, uh, for some alkaline mm. mm-hmm. in my stomach to 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 counter some of the. I mean, this, this, it's not from this; it's from yeah. something earlier. Yeah. yeah. What I were think- you? Eating, what were you eating earlier? Uh, just um, <laughs> you know, um, excuse me. I'm sorry. This is rude. This is I know. Rude. I apologize. That was upsetting to me as well. I will assure you it wasn't a choice. Um, I was just eating some real acidic stuff, not this other yeah. acidic stuff. I don't remember all of it uh, specifically. Well, well Patrick, I, I, let's check the board because maybe Stephen doesn't have to drink the remaining three. Maybe we didn't raise enough money. Maybe he has, he can stop now. I think he can uh, probably stop. I haven't, I haven't seen any more. So unless they yeah. get it in the next two minutes, I don't think he has to drink anymore. Okay. I also yeah. think for the for the meme makers out there, for the people who are making the memes, I think we have come across. We have, uh, we don't. I don't want to lose this. Another classic Stephen Charlton quote, which was, "I think we're bumping up against some capabilities at this point." <laughs> yeah. I feel like that I would look good on memes. I feel like that that's a great turn of phrase. It's classic. Even Pickle Man Charleston TM from Sucker Punch uh, catchphrase material. Oh. I think another classic Stephen Pickle Man Charleston TM from Sucker Punch line. This is a different experience. <laughs> if that's not a marketing slogan, I don't know what it is. That's a really good point, Wado. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> that made me wow. a little thirsty for the smallest one, but only the smallest one. Here we go. Yeah. I mean, the funny thing is, he doesn't have to keep going, and he is. No. At yeah. this point, it started out he would only take the shots that people donated, and now he's taking the shots and well, hoping people donate in response. To be fair, Wado, they, they had already doubled the donation I was hoping to help achieve, and so right. I felt so I owed it. But you also, you also just said as you drank that last one that you were a little thirsty for that one. So the thing yeah. that the thing that is punishing you, you have water there, and yet you drank oh. another one of the pickle juice and said you were a little thirsty for that one. Here's the thing. Once you get used to Sucker Punch, you don't want anything else. Of course. <laughs> what a great, <laughs> great marketing slogan that it builds in a certain amount of resistance to the product once you get used to Sucker Punch. You <laughs> I just mean. <laughs> I mean, when your body, your body eventually starts to crave it. Once you get used to Sucker Punch, you won't want anything else. <laughs> Steven, can you say McClunky for us? McClunky. Steven, you're uh, the best. We hope you come back soon. Thanks for having me, friends. Wait a second. Update the total before he leaves. Oh, yeah. You can wait till right after I go, or we can look now. No, you're good. You're good. It was good seeing yeah. you. Okay, right. bye. Bye bye. Oh my gosh. Wado, George, guess what? What? We got another guest. Oh my Boy. God. We got another guest. This is guest number 65 of the day. Very exciting. Bye. I'm going to bring him in and we're going to see how he wants to be introduced, okay? Okay. Okay. Hello. Hi, Mike. Hi. Hi. I, I'm so. I, I really don't care about my introduction or anything. I'm so worried about your last guest. Oh, Stephen Charleston, Stephen he'll be fine. He's a true. Let's see if he's fine. Hang Stephen, on one second. Stephen Pickleman, <laughs> Charleston, TM from Sucker Punch. Hey, well, okay. Oh my. Okay. All right. All right. I. I don't. You. You all feel like you're neglecting a man in need. Like that. There's. I feel like you're culpable in some legal way. 
It's for charity. Mike. It's for charity. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mike, Mike okay. we've raised we've raised twenty four thousand three hundred and eighty four dollars. It's for charity. I will tell that. Okay. Uh, you, okay. Yeah, I, be I believe you. This is your show. Your rules. Your laws. So let's yes, introduce right. you. If you don't care, we'll just let Wado introduce you. That's fine. Okay. Here we go. Mike Roy. <laughs> that had both the weight that I was hoping for mm -hmm. and the lack of impressiveness. <laughs> yeah. It was a I perfect combination of what you're getting from me being Yeah, there. I see, I see you. First of all, let's say, let's say RIP one day at a time. Thank, yeah. thank you. I'll, yeah. I'll make a. Well, I don't know how that. There we go. A, a yeah. nation mourns, gone far too soon. Yeah, uh, it's true. They stabbed it with their steely knives, and they killed the beast. In this case, yeah. yes. Well, what? look. I mean, it makes sense. Why would Pop want to continue running a beloved family <laughs> sitcom that had crossed over through Netflix? <laughs> that is not a, a type of show they've had any success with. <laughs> no. no. Um, but, but you guys had a very good run, that one that you should be proud of, and that one that a lot of people, I think, will be watching for a very long time. Uh, thank you. And yes, I, I hope so. And, you know, um, I have, uh, you know, I mean, when, when, whenever you want to get to it, I, I know you're, since I'm, I'm not attached to a show right now. Yeah. Right. And I know that you're starting or you're kind of accelerating your development, if I'm Our not slate. mistaken. Or slight. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I just, I mean, if this is the appropriate, I don't know if it's appropriate time, but. Are you looking to pitch? I, I, I am to looking. To, I have, have some pitches. Because a lot of the industry shuts down around this time of year, but we're taking pitches. I um, I tuned in early to the, to the program. I yeah, saw yeah. that you were taking pitches. I was kind of hope I wasn't sure if it was a specialized. Thing I if I had to go through we're, my agent. We're happy to take pitches from you. We're one of the few shops that are that are uh, not going to uh, go on vacation over the over the holidays. We're going to keep taking pitches. All right. Well, and the Mike, the, the, Mike yeah. you might have noticed I changed my name. Wow, <laughs> catcher. These yeah, I'm ready to do the pitch. This, this, I'm, um, I'm behind the plate. Come on. <laughs> this is because first of all, you want to go into a warm room, and already this feels fantastic. Yeah. So yeah. I just want you to consider the thing about these pitches. Also, the added bonus mm -hmm. is their reboots of my previous work. Okay. So I already, yes, you okay. already have existing IP. Thank you. Great. Okay. Mandalorians of a certain age. Oh, is all good. one single, one's married, one's just recently divorced. You know, one's yeah. kind of a dog, kind of a. Now, Mike, let's ask this. This is a big question. Would Ray come back for for this? Yeah, no. Okay, and, but, and Mike, let's ask. This is a big question. Would Bakula come back? Yula. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think you had him till the last syllable. Mike, let me ask a really important question. Would Andre turn? Yeah, sure. Andre turn. Andre. Turn. No, Andre turn, Ray turn. Would he Ray turn? Oh, shit. Okay, sorry. I wow. yes. I'm gonna say I, I'm gonna go. I think the all three would come back. Okay. To play Mandalorians, what are they doing when they're they're 60 and close to closer to closing in on? Well, also, older? if they're all playing Mandalorians, all we need is a day with each of them in a vocal booth somewhere. They can if they have an ISDN line from their home, oh my uh, God. they That's can awesome. do it from the set of whatever else they're working on. That's yeah, right. We get, we get five clean takes of them saying, this is the way, and you got yourself a season. Um, yeah. Scott Bakula could literally be like, well, we wrap that one up, y'all, on NCIS. Yeah. Well, honestly, we could have, if we could, uh, if we could license some audio from Quantum Leap, all we got a thousand oh boys that we could add in there. Yeah. Just have them say oh boy a lot. Yeah. Right. And we, we can write in a character on the show named Deborah and just license a couple of those. <laughs> from everybody loves Raymond, and that's like eight seasons in the day. Or even yeah. Rod Deb. We could call her Rod Deb. Rod Deb, yeah. You just you take the audio and fix the audio. Rod Deb. Oh, great. Star Wars style. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. right. Rod Deb. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we got that. What okay. else do we got? 
Okay, just hear me out because this is- uh, we're, we're buying that in the room, by the way. That You just sold that in the room. That. I oh. wish I could say that I've done that before, but this is, well, this, this is the first time it's ever happened. In, in this room, but it's a Zoom okay. room. I got the, the, wound, the, the wound's Wait. a little fresh, so I want to I wanna be careful by saying this, and I'll probably have to work some stuff out, but one Leia at a time. Ooh. Great, great. Okay. She's a new mom, right? Han's yeah. out of the picture. Yeah. Ben's a handful. Yes. No, 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 no. She, yeah. You know, and then probably there's another sibling that came along who's sure. younger and cuter. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't see them weirdly later on. <laughs> yeah. Well, the timeline, I'm not clear on the timeline myself. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no. You would have to fit it in. Maybe it could be a, a, you know, a different universe of some sort. I don't, sure. I don't know how that stuff works, but would it be canon? Maybe not. Could be a legend. Now, Wado and George, we pitched a show last week that Mike actually might fit in on. Do you remember oh. our guest? Do you remember our guest last week? Yes. George, do you know what show I'm talking about? My Two Slaves? Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> I do want to hear more about that, but Yeah, no, that's a hot one. That's a hot one. We're getting a lot of buzz around town on that one. Uh... Two hander. This one was a two hander that fits in with Mike's Uber. Oh. oh. It's me someone train. you've worked with in the past. Oh, Gadzooks. Gadzooks. Star Wars Gadzooks. It's finally. It, the meeting of Josh Gad and Jason Manzukis. <laughs> Gadzooks. Gadzooks. <laughs> fun to say, even just... more fun to watch. I... <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I is it is it, it's a whole. That's a show. Like that's, that's a, a whole show. show. That's a Look. show. We don't even know what the show is. We're we're we're. And that's the one show that we don't think it actually matters what the show is. The title, you the title, the <laughs> no, title no. gets gets us the audience. Then you just have to hold yes. on tight. Mm -hmm. We're right. handing you a box and saying, just fill it with something. As yeah. long as this label remains on the outside of the box, mm -hmm. you can put whatever you want inside. We <laughs> we the testing we have done says that the uh, the title is so strong that regardless of what the show is, even if people hate it. They will come yeah. back the next week. The title will bring them back every week on the hope that somehow it will live up to the promise of that title. <laughs> I get that. Like I would watch, even if the first episode sucked, I would be like, you know what? I'm still, I got to, obviously yeah. it's going to get better. Right. Yeah. You'll obviously. give us another 12 or 15 chances. Yeah. yeah. That's, and that's, you're halfway there to syndication or whatever. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. What's, what's syndication number these days? Four? How many episodes do you need to go into syndicate? It's however many will be played at 7.30 on TBS to 16 people. <laughs> yeah. Not so, a lot of not a lot of second not not a lot of summer homes being bought off those syndication deals anymore. No. Those days, those days are gone, right? That's uh, for that is my understanding. Uh, wow. The industry is telling me that through cancellation. So yes. Yeah, yeah, Mike, yeah. do you have a do you have a life day wish? I do. It's a little bit. I don't want to. I don't want to be like um, a know-it-all, but I feel like if my life day, which after this whole year, is if if dumb people who think they're smart mm -hmm. could realize that they're dumb. Yeah. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the person who's like, oh, actually, when you put a mask on, you breathe more of the disease, and so that way right. you should take a mask. That person just suddenly, when they start to say that, they go. Oh no, that oh that's that's stupid. Yeah. I shouldn't say that. That's a good it way. It's a great it covers way. so many things. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I agree. Uh, 1600 Padme. Oh Ooh. I'm just I know you're you know, I'm sure you have other guests, but I'm just just let that's a tease. That's wait, a, hang on, you just hang sold on. it in the room. You just sold it in the room. That's a Gadzooks. That's what we now, like to call a Gadzooks. Now, Watto, what is a what does a planet do? Throughout the course of a day, it rotates. Sure. What's another word for rotate? Spins. Revolve. Spins. Now, what what is Coruscant, Lotto? Coruscant. Okay, Mike. I don't know if you've heard about this Coruscant. Uh, I've heard that word. I mm -hmm. think mm -hmm. Coruscant it's is. It's a planet. planet made of cities. It's a it's a city planet. The whole planet is a city. Uh, planet is a city and, and the whole city is a planet it's the oh. ultimate spin city okay <laughs> yeah 
I worked on I worked on that show too, so I'm just I saying. Know. Yeah. Oh, you don't say. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. You're ahead of me. I'm sorry. Wow, yeah. what a wild coincidence. Maybe we're <laughs> pitching to you now. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh no. Oh huh. my goodness. Huh. Uh, I Maybe buy you in the room. To, How about Maybe that? Maybe we're trying to lock you into an overall deal. You ever think about that? Yeah. I, it's just so far from my experience that yeah. I, I appreciate yeah. the interest. Hmm. Yeah. Did you grow up on a farm? Are you a farmer? Uh, I grew upstate New York, if that helps. Yeah. The reason I ask, it looks like you might be locked into an overall. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Mike, I've Mike, never felt better. What's your favorite thing on your shelf behind you? This shelf? Yeah. Oh, you mean the one with the pea body? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can Ooh. we see it? Oh, but next to that... Um, can you zoom in? I can. I can, I can try to take you close. Can we see that Peabody? Can we see that Peabody? Yes, I will get the Peabody. Actually, I can. let me yeah. take. I have a long microphone. Can you only want to see this thing? There we go. Woo! Oh, buddy. Right. There you go. Woo! Yeah, that's nice. For men of a certain age. Yeah. The first class before, you know. Actually, we we were canceled a month later. One of Peabody. Oh no. So that's yeah. yeah. So just when you think, just if in case you ever think you're getting something happens, that's yeah. good. The next thing that'll happen will be bad. That's my experience. I don't know where Wado went. Uh, he seemed like he froze and then. Uh, yeah. Maybe he was just mad about you guys getting canceled. Maybe. Like, yeah. I guess yeah, it might've been in solidarity. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Mike, before, before you go, cause we're wrapping up, but okay. what. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave you with one more pitch. You don't have to, I'll just leave, I'll say it and then I'll go. Yeah. Um, All right. Yeah. Okay. But I want to hear you say McClunky. Oh, right. <clears throat> McClunky. You're great. Yeah. Now let's hear the pitch because we still have a few minutes. Okay. Okay. Well, it's good because I, here's the thing about this pitch. Yeah. I don't understand it, but I think yeah. you will understand it. I'm okay. Intrigued. Okay. Everybody loves <laughs> Ramus Antilles. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, from what I could glean in my Googling, he was the guy strangled by Darth Vader, and then he's uh -huh. made other appearances in other. Yes. Yeah. But I'm just saying maybe that guy has a overbearing mother and a brother who's like, oh, my God, this guy always gets strangled by Darth Vader. I'm so oh, jealous yeah. of that. Yeah, I believe uh, this guy's in episode three as well, where he's a goddamn hunk. Oh, I'm going to show this picture of this guy because he's a goddamn hunk. Look at him. Holy. Oh my goodness. Holy moly, what a hunk. Who is this hunk we're looking at? Uh, Wado, this would be the star of Everybody Loves Ramus Antilles. Yeah. Uh, Mike, you just sold that in the room. It sold it. I, you know, that, and that one I'll have to talk to Phil Rosenthal, who, of course, you know, should be. Yeah. Well, somebody. Wait, Mike, wait I have a question. Yeah, Mike, have you, have you fed him during this? I have not fed Phil, no. Somebody that, Somebody should. Oh, for the love of God, somebody. You know, you're right. I realize now that that title is a cry for help, and I've never answered it. Yeah. Anyone I, anyone could answer it. That's the beauty yeah. of that show. I don't know if you know this, Mike, but the reason for this season today, we're raising money for Feeding America. Our hope is to feed many fills out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to feed as many fills as we can. As just only fills, though, only just simply not exclusively fills, but okay. it, 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 we're all fills in a way. All of maybe us, in this should, world. maybe we should donate all this money to Phil Rosenthal. Yep, right. That's a good use. Let's think about it. Let's, think about it. <laughs> what, what, what? let's, let's get it, it just transferred to Postmates credit, yes. like some Postmates credit. Twenty-four thousand dollars <laughs> worth. You're the best. Thank you for Thank coming. You, back. Happy Thank life, you for right. having me. Happy life day. Hope we see you soon. Yes. Bye. Bye. All right, Wado. I'm going to bring in our next guest, okay? Unbelievable. The hits don't stop coming. The hits don't Six, stop coming. Bye. Yes. Will we get to that naughty number 69? I'm betting no. I'm betting Patrick craps out after three I, more guests. I bet I crap out after three more guests, even though we have like four more hours. Here we go. Now, she's going to have to tell you how she wants to be introduced. Oh, well, how is that any different? Oh, she's muted. Oh, oh muted. No. Muted. Oh, no, Patrick, stop silencing women, Patrick. I'm not on mute. Am I unmuted? You're unmuted yeah. now. Christine, we are so sorry that Patrick tried to silence you. <laughs> Thank you. It looks like he's been removed. Yes, because that we do not put up with that kind of 
uh, behavior, your voice is important, and we want to amplify it here in the George Lucas talk. Great. Can I keep your hands where I can see them? Oh, sure. So yeah. here's some bad news. Yeah. You are not on the show yet. Okay. <laughs> but everyone can see and hear you. Yes, everyone can see this. Do not cancel yourself. Do not say anything cancelable. But technically, this doesn't count because you haven't been introduced yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you got to tell me how you want to be introduced so we can resolve this lickety split. Okay. Uh, my name is Christine Nangle and I am a comedy writer. Okay, great. Bye. 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 Folks, her name is Christine Nangle and she's a comedy writer. Okay, Happy okay. Life day. Happy life day. Hey, George Watto, Christine, really quick before we start. I do want to say that we hit $24,000 that we raised, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Which means something. It's time for me to come to hair. So, Christine, yeah. I'm going to save my hair while you guys are talking. Can you save a little gray? Can you save a little gray on, uh, say, just save them in a, in a little separate thing? Where, is there any part you want me to save, guys? The gray well, side. The gray, wait, do the gray size wait first. A second. Wait a second. Yeah. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Christine Nengel, one of the best comedy writers in the business. Now, the last two times that Patrick has shaved his head, we've had him save a little bit of a funny shape. So yeah. one time, he shaved everything except for a little cupcake in the front. One time, he shaved everything except for a little pea. For Patrick. Christine, what should Patrick save? What shape should he shave and leave behind on his otherwise bald head? Well, if the other P was for he could leave he could do another P, but it, it's not allowed to stand for Patrick. It has to stand for something else. Or you could do the thing where you make it so you look like your hairline has receded like all the way back. Let's, and so you're, let's just see how that looks. I want to be to keep those gray patches at the side, in particular, yeah. with the first run. We want a full donut, Patrick. Give us the horseshoe. Patrick? Is he frozen or is he stunned silent? <laughs> is, this the show? is this the show now? Is this the show? <laughs> I mean, I think it was a great okay. fit. I hope you didn't kill him in shock. <laughs> that didn't look like the, that didn't look like the type of photo that you would put with like Patrick Cotnar, you know, <laughs> and then the dates, you know. <laughs> yes, the the mass card photo, as we call it in my family. Oh. Uh, Christine, you were uh, head writer on the president show. I was. Yes. And uh, uh, Patrick Cotner worked under you on that show. That's correct. He's not yet the producer. He was a young buck. He was a very he was a young buck. Did you ever get the sense in the offices of the president show, uh, someday I'm going to be living through a global pandemic, entering a live stream, telling this man to shave his head into the letter P live on camera from his shower, for charity. Did you ever have that that image of the future? No. I mean, I think I saw all of it, but I assumed he'd be in his bathtub. So the shower thing is the thing that kind of has thrown me a little bit, but yeah, you just think it was, you know? Bathtub in New York City. I thought he'd have money by now. We all did. Yeah. Um, George Lucas, Can I you just... Know? I just started watching The Mandalorian, oh, yeah. and I have two episodes left, and I love it so much. All right. Well, make sure at midnight East Coast time that you're not watching the stream, because we're going to spoil season two at midnight. at midnight. Oh, yeah. I'm not watching the stream at any point. Great. Great. Yeah. Don't worry. Patrick, did you have hear you been... the instructions? I didn't. My Wi-Fi crapped out. I'm sorry. Me? Um, what? Yeah. Uh, okay. what, what did I do? Two side cupcakes. How many people are watching right now? 589. Um, 
I want you to keep the sides. Uh, you want me to just bald, bald myself? Horseshoe. A horseshoe. A horseshoe. So leave a little cupcake. Yeah. Oh, leave a little cupcake and a horseshoe? No, the horseshoe and then that little cupcake there. I feel. Yeah. Wait, was I talking over him? I couldn't see him. And then all of a sudden I could see him. No, he disappeared. Okay. Yeah, he disappeared and now he's back. Have you okay. been celebrating Mando Mondays since you've been watching The Mandalorian, Nagel? Uh, no, because I started on a Saturday or so Friday. you only experienced one Mando Monday, which was last Monday. Well, no, because I wasn't. Oh, yesterday? You started Friday. yesterday? Yeah, yeah. You watched all of season one of Mandalorian and most of season two since yesterday? Yes, that's correct. And so tomorrow is going to be your first ever Mando Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Happy Mando Monday in advance. Uh, Mando Monday Thank is you. the day Thank they celebrate much. the announcement of new Mando merchandise. It is not the day that new episodes <laughs> come out, but it is the day they've decided to turn into some sort of weekly holiday. Yeah. Like what, what happened merchant. last Mando Monday? Uh, uh, let's see. What did they, let's see what they announced last Mando Monday. It's various retailers have different, ex uh, have different exclusives. Uh, exclusive so target will have some exclusives yeah yeah oh wow okay What's i'm seeing yeah. last week let's see if i can get this link because this is a good one there is there is a uh you know like the baby on board signs they put in the car window sometimes yeah and you know like the little garfield with the suction cups you put in the car sometimes yeah it's one of those, but with Baby Yoda, and it says, Ooh. "Baby, a child on board." Really? Oh wait, is this real? <laughs> yeah, I'm going, to, I'm going to get the picture of it. Okay, cool. I like that. I would buy that. I, I <gasps> that, that was announced last Monday. Monday. Where can you buy? So, where can you buy it? I'm trying to find the pre-order. It seemed to say that it was available on Target, but maybe it's now sold out. I, I bet it's sold out. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. It's in. If you pre order it, it will arrive March 1st, 2021. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Hold on. There's breaking news. Does Patrick know? I, I'm just seeing all the chat is talking about Patrick's butt. Wait, Patrick. Patrick's butt? Hold on. I need to let my dog out. This I, I didn't see it. But everyone else says, everyone says good butt. No one, how do you guys see my butt? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Patrick. I, don't I didn't see it. I don't know. <laughs> they said they saw the butt in the mirror. I'm fully wearing pants. People, Wait, people are Christine, insisting they saw it. Christine, can we see Philby so I can put him on the IMDb? Uh, I just put him outside for a minute. Oh, okay. All right. Sorry. It gets back to showing your butt, Patrick. Uh, I I just sent the link for the, the Mando baby on board thing, if, if Dave or Bryson could show it, if that's possible. I put it in the private chat. I can see it. Little Frosty the Snowman's tipping his hat to Patrick's butt. He proves. Yeah. He likes it. Well, He's, what he likes. He sings, but. Oh, he does? Let's well, hear a song. No, the bat he doesn't have batteries. My mom sent me a bunch of um, a bunch of uh, Christmas decorations, um, including this, and I was too sad to do anything with them. So I just this is just for this, right? I'll probably put it back. Uh, Nangle, do you, uh, do you have a life day wish? Yes, I do. Ha what what's happening? Hold on. Oh my god! Very oh my cute. God. It's very cute. Look at his mouth. Oh, that's so sweet. I love him. I have seen, been seeing people talk about Baby Yoda, and I like saw photos. I was like, oh, he's cute. And then I, I got it. I got it so hard. I got the fever so hard instantly. The, the thing that I really like about that child on board is. His expression's a little bit devilish. You don't know if it's referring to him, the child, Grogu, or whether he has eaten someone else's <laughs> child. Because right, he likes eating the eggs. He likes he the eggs. I have. I was tweeting about that episode earlier today. Yeah. And um, 
I was calling her a fish lady and people got upset about that because oh. I was a frog. Yeah. Um, um, they, knew. they knew. Yeah. So um, my your life day wish. My life day wish is to um, give birth to a baby Yoda, like vaginal birth. Right. Into skin contact. Mm -hmm. Nursing, Bond. bonding, connecting, connecting, and um, showing him off and um, having him be a baby forever. Oh, what a great wish. That's can you can we get you to say just a clean read of the word McClunky? McClunky. Perfect. And and Nangle, someone just pointed something out in the chat that almost slipped by me. Okay. You are guest number 66 today. You're the 66th guest we've had on the show today. Wow. Now 66 is a very tragic number in the Star Wars universe. Oh, no. Order 66. Because, yes. When the evil space Nazis took over, they they executed Order 66, which was murder of the Jedi. It's bad. It's bad. No good. Well, you, you're the ones that booked me here. Well, no, this is the point. We want to take you weren't, booked as, you weren't booked as guest number 66. Oh, okay. uh, a series of surprise guests, including several canines. Have bumped the uh, the guest order to the point where you have just landed at random at at guest sixty six. Oh. I want to make this clear: it's not that guest number sixty six gets executed; it's that no. order sixty six is the order that makes all the stormtroopers kill the Jedi. And what we're saying is, let's rewrite order sixty six right here, right now. We need to come up with a new order sixty six. To give to all of our listeners right now what they should do at your command. Mike, okay, the command is look at Patrick. Okay, everyone look at Patrick. <laughs> you, it seems like you accidentally may have done a heart, like a heart shape. <laughs> you look like a Oompa Loompa. Or, or who's the uncle, uncle, uh, what's his face? Uncle who, Owen? No. Amperu? Grandpa, what's his face? Grandpa Joe? I never thought that I could see other things about the monsters. The monsters, Grandpa Munster. You look, like, you, look like, you look like I would cast you in a heartbeat in a in a hard reboot of Young Grandpa Munster. Ooh. Wait, or is it um the Lollipop Guild? Oh, thank you. You look like yeah. the Lollipop. Oh, these just get better and better as <laughs> they. Come in. Wait, Wait a second, I Patrick. Do you have any hair gel? Yeah. What do you want, Lana? Can you try to spike was, up? Hey, the friend of the show, friend like of the, the lollipop guild. Friend of the show, Ron Howard, just texted me. You look like the guy from the door of the castle in Wizard of Oz. Yes, yeah, that's a horse with a different color. <laughs> but you need to spike it up. Get some jelly. Spike that part. Spike that up. up. Spike do, you that want me to, do you want me to do the beard too? Yeah. Okay. Guys, does this does this count as guest sixty seven? Yeah, sixty seven. Yes. yes, it does. Yes, it does. This is my baby dog. He's a little jealous of my um, affection for Grogu. Grogu? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say. But it's okay. I guess. He, had, he grew up to be an adult, and I, I'm angry about it. Baby Yoda would never do that to me. Mm. He's 50, and he still looks like a baby. Nangle, yeah. Nangle, I have a question. Yeah. You were on The Simpsons a few weeks ago. I was, yes. How would your character from The Simpsons handle the pandemic? Um, my character from The Simpsons, Tabitha Shingle, who is a pod, uh, true crime podcaster with very, very, very bad vocal fry. Yeah. Uh, she would probably start multiple relationships with prisoners. Sure. Communicate with them, pen pal, whatever, however you communicate with prisoners and, um, and fall in love with them, you know. Yeah, is she a Koenig type? Yeah, she was. She was based on her, uh, okay, kind of just like archetype type thing. And then I did, I did the voice at the at the table read just to fill in for. <laughs> exactly, that's exactly what you look like. <laughs> um, but wait, that's isn't that the, that's actually the wizard too? It's the wizard. Right? That's the, the doorman. Hi, Ron yeah, Howard. It's the same actor. It's Frank Morgan. 
Oh. Um, um, I did the I did the voice at the table read to fill in for like celebrity TVD because I'm a writer on the show and sometimes they have the writers do that and I've done a couple other voices at table reads just because celebrities aren't booked yet. Yeah. And, um, James Brooks liked it so much that they told me to do it in the show, which is really wow. funny. Wow. Go to the table. Big Jim. James L. James L. B. Canyon Jim. Canyon Jim himself. <laughs> now, it won't stick up. It's not long enough to stick up. But no, no but that's a nice like you look though. Yeah, you have to part it. I was wrong in my memory. It's uh, like part it. Well, it won't yeah. look. It won't. <laughs> no, it looks it great. Won't... <laughs> do you have okay, to flat, so flat iron? Do you have. Yeah. This is a big ask, Patrick. Patrick, I, I know the answer to this is probably no, but I'm just going to ask on the off chance. Do you have any pants that make the lower half of your body look like you're like a, 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 a Lion, the Witch, in the Wardrobe type? Uh, like a, a Mr. On, yeah. Do you want me to look like a Mr. Tumnus? Yeah. No, I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Well, okay, but just check. Would you do me that favor? Just I, check. I, I, I can promise you I don't. You don't right. have any brown pants? I don't think so. Well, will we, you? Would you do me the favor? Because I think your sweatpants actually work for the same purpose. Can, can we get a full wide shot where you're sort of dancing around in the sweatpants the way that you don't think so? Well, can we make it a stretch goal if we make like fifty thousand more dollars? Yeah, yeah. fifty thousand more. Yeah. Um, right. Oh boy. How uh, does this help feed people? What? How does this this whole thing help? This people? well, we've raised. What are we up to now? Twenty four. Over 24. So we over said when we get 24, I would shave my head. Yeah. So we're, it, we raised over $24,000 that we're going to donate to Feeding America. Um, and so, and we, today we passed our yearly total of charity uh, fundraisers. We, we passed yeah. 150,000 for the year, which is, was our goal. But don't you make that in like two, like 20 seconds? Me? Yeah. But I'm yeah. giving my money to education and to building my museum. It's all oh, tied right. up. It's all okay. tied up. My money's yeah. all tied up. Yeah. Uh, My money is I, I like to keep it. Nang, I, I take your point. $150,000 is not very much money. Well, I mean, to me it is. but to No, you, but you're right. But to me it is not. Uh, Angle, you're the best. Thank you for coming. Angle, you're the best. You're the best. Thank you. And thank you to Philby. The dog. Thank you, Philby. Thank you, Philby. Nang gang for life. Nang gang. Bye guys. Bye now. What up? I know. I forgot to ask her what Bart is like in real life. You can ask our next guest. He, I'll tell you what he's okay. like. He's an underachiever and proud of it, man. Hey, baby. Um, what up? We have another guest. Okay. Let's, uh, Dave. Can you bring them in, and we'll see how they want to be introduced. Hello. Hi, Aaron. Hello, Aaron. Hello, hello. hello. How are now, you? wait a second. I see something very alerting in the background, but we have to do things in the correct right, don't order. Don't show us. Don't show us. Aaron. Right. Aaron, I really want to discuss the thing in the background, it's... but we can't do it yet because you haven't been introduced yet. Okay. Technically, you're not on the show yet. It doesn't count. So I want to introduce you as fast as we can okay. so we can get to the discussion. Erin, how do you want to be introduced? Um, I don't know. I'm a, a, a sometimes employed actor. Great. Okay, that's good enough. Perfect. Yeah. All right. No, Dave, is there more? No, okay. Ready? Yeah. I don't know. She's a sometimes employed actor. Ladies and gentlemen, Erin Dark. Thank you. Okay, now let's get down to business. Um, yeah, I have a special treat for you guys. Wow. Um, let's just let's try and figure out the right way to roll. Whoa! Whoa. Clap, clap, clap. I love wow. it. Wow. Now, the last time you were on the show, you told us about this. Yes. We saw we saw photos of this in its natural habitat. Yes. Um, so I am uh, at my dad and brother's house right now. Um, oh, so you are in the habitat. You are. You yeah, haven't. You habitat. haven't liberated uh, this. You're visiting it. Tested. We're uh, here for a couple weeks. Um, so I am actually currently in my brother's Lego room, which we have moved our friend 
to for the purposes of this show. He usually resides in the living room. Yeah. How's he feeling about being in the Lego room? Is he enjoying the change of pace? I think he is. I'll be honest. It's pretty cool in here. Looks like a um, cool room. Yeah. I mean, would, just, I mean, it'd be nice if he had one of these bad boys to keep him company. Lego room. Oh, wow. Wait, go back to that Lego room. Yeah. We got, yeah. This is a dinosaur my brother made. Oh. Scratch. Wow. Wow. That's uh, right. Yeah, what can I say? My family's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. And Tidy, you cleaned up all the toys. Yeah. Patrick has his toys all over the floor in his room. So much so that we're having to do an event where he gives them all away. Yeah. Uh, hey, Wado. Well, while we're talking about this, we have another guest I want to bring in. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to bring her in, and we're going to see how she wants to be introduced, okay? Okay. Okay. Hi. Thank Hello. You. Thank you so much for having me for this uh, Life Day celebration. Dana, you're Time not. A the essence, Dana. We're in a really good flow of things, and we want to keep the momentum going. But unfortunately, you are not on the show yet. <laughs> You're live. Everyone can see and hear you, but it doesn't count. It's not canon because we haven't introduced you yet. So yeah. I want to fix this. I want to introduce you right away. How should you be introduced? Uh, host of the podcast, Noble Blood, would be great. Thank you, Otto. Okay. Okay. Bye. Man, hers was so much better than mine. She like listed a thing. We could reintroduce you. No, we it's not. Okay. Are you sure? I'm happy to do it. No, it's really okay. I feel like, uh, right. yeah, people either are like, "Who is that?" or they're like, "I don't know. Maybe I've seen her in something." Listing a credit's not going to help. Okay. Okay. Wada, let's bring her back in. Folks from the podcast, Noble Blood, Dana Schwartz. Woo! Thank you for having me officially, Wado. Of course. Uh, now, Dana, you're also hitting a large milestone because guess what? What? You're guest number 69 of the day. Oh, nice. So, so, nice. so close. It's really nice. So close. Yeah. Um, how are you guys both holding up? Because we both talked to you at various stages in the pandemic. Aaron, it was earlier. Yeah. Uh, when you were still figuring it all out. It was probably, what, June maybe? Yeah, I think like yeah. early June, yeah. And then Dana, now, you, Dana we probably, now we we have it figured out dead to right. We got this thing under control. Yeah. yeah. And Dana was probably, what, October maybe? Late September, October, somewhere around yeah, there? Yeah, things have gotten, I think I just maybe got a little more used to, to quarantine. Okay. So I'm, I'm doing okay, yeah. That's great. Um, uh, how have you guys been handling your life day? How are you celebrating? <laughs> I, I actually, I just celebrated Life Day by watching the post credit scene of The Mandalorian that I didn't realize existed. All right, don't spoil it yet. We're not going to spoil what I'm happened until midnight. Not going to spoil what happened. I'm just saying a post credit scene existed yes. That, yes. I, that I did not know. And that was my that was my Life Day celebration. I would not dream of, of putting a spoiler on the internet. No. Uh, I mean, that's pretty good. Aaron, can you, can you top that? No, I, I just won a, a game of Trivial Pursuit. Great. Oh, very what good. You, what was the winning question? Uh, oh, I can't remember now. Wow. But I left them playing. I was like, I've won. I can leave now. The, the game is going on right now? Yes. My family wow. is downstairs currently playing another game. Wow. Okay. Wait we a second. Do? Wait a second. I yeah. got the you got five. I got an idea. Okay. We got five big brains on this stream right now. What if you brought the computer downstairs and the five of us tried to answer one trivial pursuit question? Yes, together? I love this. Please, I'm so in. Yeah, bring a question up. Oh, so it's gonna bring a question up. Okay. Um, yes. Great. Okay. Okay. This Perfect. We're in the game now. We're in the game. We're in the game. Just want to get I, my head in the game. I, I, just, I will admit, my family plays a very friendly version where you can phone a friend during sure. the pursuit sure. with right. someone else at the table, but you cannot yeah. phone a friend on the last question to win. Okay. okay. The stakes are too high by that point. Um, what color? What color do you guys want? What category? Uh, I want. I want a uh, entertainment pink. A pink card. Pink. pink. Yeah, do you want to? Okay. Um, my boyfriend has handed this in. Um, 
Which bridesmaid, who was upstaged in the film by Rose Byrne, was herself a serial one-upper on SNL? Kirsten Wig. Yes. It's also a little judgy, that question. Yeah. 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 Wow. Also, yeah. Little Topical, Little Topical, hosted last night. Hosted mm -hmm. the, the final episode of the year, the holiday special episode. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, we did it. We did it. Well done, Dana. Good. Well, I'm sorry, I'll give, I'll give a jump the gun there. I'm a very... No, I get because it. you knew you had it. You took the shot. They, they really range. But, like, how about this question? Which is the only U.S. state's capital city with not a single McDonald's fast food joint? Oh, interesting. Uh, I'm going to say Des Moines. I'm going to say Juno. Mm. No? No. Watto? Uh, yeah. So the, the question is the the capital city itself, not right? Not the state that has yes, the capital, the capital in city it. itself. It's the only state capital that does not have a single McDonald's in it. I'm looking at the chat. I'm sort of crowdsourcing <laughs> my answers here. People are saying Augusta, Maine. People and I like the sound of it. But it's it's some place where you're like, oh, did they just think McDonald's wasn't like cute enough? <sighs> oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna guess again. I I spent my guess. Yeah. What's the capital of Vermont? Montpellier. There you go. Yeah. Well, we combined our answers. I I don't. I'm not great with state capitals. But together, together. But that cute That's hint was a, a very point. good one. That was a very good hint. Because it does feel yeah. like, yeah, they they probably it's not quaint enough. Yeah, they were like, yeah. we can't. It's Vermont. We the, have yeah. some the maple <laughs> The maple we, syrup at McDonald's is baked into the McGriddles, but it's not it's not of high enough standard for Vermont. Right. Yeah, right. it's yeah. Vermont, probably, not even real maple syrup. Yeah, yeah. Guys, what are your uh, what are your life day wishes? Um. I really just, my life day wish is that I just get to like really hug every single one of my friends at some point next year. Yeah. Like a good, long, tight fucking hug. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Um, my life day wish uh, is that uh, the batch of Christmas cookies I'm working on turns out well. It's a mini Christmas wish. And then the big picture Christmas wish is that everyone that I love and is gets access to a vaccine in the very near future. That was more altruistic than mine. I appreciate it. Well, the cookies are for me. Then I'm going to eat them. Yeah. Yeah. So. Right. Can we get, uh, can we hear you guys each say McClunky? Dana, no spoilers, but you recently heard someone say McClunky. M the word McClunky is what you yeah. mean to say? Yeah. McClunky. McClunky. Aaron? McClunky. Perfect. You guys are the best. Thank you guys for coming on. Yeah. Hey, before I leave, I have one question for, yeah, for Wado. Sure. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I, I texted Wado earlier, but I forgot he was busy doing the show. Sure. Um, yeah. Why does Salacious B. Crumb have a middle initial? Interesting uh, that Wado this and not George, the man who created him. Right. I know the answer. Do you know, do you know it, what it, it stands for? I, I know. I know the answer. I, I assume, yeah. I'm sorry I didn't respond in time. I, I was busy doing the show, but I was going to get around to it afterwards. Your question was, what is the deal with Salacious B. Crumb having a middle initial? And my answer to you is, it's because Salacious B. Nasty. <laughs> it's not the answer I wanted. George, do, George, do you have a no, better answer? No, but that's the answer you needed. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah. Well, this is kind I, of I, I, it gives me yeah. no joy to share that. But it's yeah, it, the, the answer the answer is not just one thing. It, it is true that that Salacious be nasty. He also be laughing all the time at, at funny things that are happening. He be screeching when people trying to cook and eat him. Salacious be doing all kinds of things. Can I tell you actually the real story of how they named Salacious be Crumb? I just oh, brother. oh boy, no, here we go. I am so tired of hearing this story, but go ahead, Patrick. Uh, get ready to have a uh, Salacious Crumb Pat. Well, George, I don't remember if or I don't know if you remember that you gave the uh, uh, the creature team the task of coming up with the character's name. 
Yeah. But when they were trying to come up with a name, they went out to lunch and they had a drunken few pitchers of beer. And while yeah. they were leaving, Phil Tippett, a uh, puppeteer, creature maker, everything, decided to bend down to tie his shoes. And he said, wait a minute, guys, while I tie my shoelaces, slurring on the word shoelaces. <laughs> Yeah. And then a, a bee flew then, past because they don't, say, they, don't, they don't say where the bee came from, but George, it does say that you gave crumb. Where do you think, George? I will tell you where the bee came from. Okay, but where do you think crumb came from? Uh, the underground cartoonist Robert Crumb. Yes, that's true. Yeah, I know. I'll t and I'll tell you exactly where the bee came from. It must have been somebody left a window open. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. This thank you. Happy, Happy, Life Day. Happy Life Day. Happy Life Day. We'll Happy Life Day. Day. We'll see you soon. Hey, thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Dana. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Dana. Now, we're oh. on the 70th guest right now, and that feels like that needs to be something momentous. Well, no. To be right. fair, Patrick, we're on the 69th guest. I think you're going to crap out at this point. I don't think you have a 70th guest in you. Don't count your guests before they appear. Oh. Bobby. Bobby, 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 Hola, Bobby, Isabel. Bobby, 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 you know, it's really, it's amazing how well it's, you know, been received. And, and, it, it, and that's really great. That's a good on we, you. We Thank wouldn't you. be anywhere without you. You were there with us at the beginning. You were the reason for this season. And we haven't changed. We're the same. We're the same little uh, scraggly bunch of uh, streamers. Yeah. We're just, just trying to get by in this crazy world. Some of our hair is different. Yeah. You're well. Right. Right. George, I, your father's become a Facebook friend of mine, I believe. George's father, wow. George, your dad <laughs> must be getting up there. You are 75 years of my age. Very impressive, George. Yeah. I, I know you have a new friend on your in your camera angle. We haven't seen that Emmy before, have we? Yeah, I mean, that's a that's sorry, a guess. Sorry, sorry, I can no, move no, 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 no. Oh, we can see the other. <laughs> okay, and that's <laughs> because there are currently three guests on this stream: 70, 71, 72. No. That's right. <laughs> yes. We're counting yeah. the Emmys. Is we are counting each we're Emmy. Really as... that. You all thought frame it out. No, we want to see that. No, no, we I want it. Know. We want it. That... You know, I'm facing the other way. My wife is always giving me shit about my background, yeah. so I turn yeah. this thing on the other side. That's why. Bobby, no, this Bobby, is how we get the press. That... We're like, we're showing Emmys on the show. Okay. Bobby. If you want street cred, yeah, okay. okay. Grab them. Grab it's them. Great. Bring them closer. No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Bobby, how, how are you? Oh, wait, you haven't been... Wait, Wado, you have to introduce him. Oh, my God. Bobby, I'm so sorry. We we got so excited, our emotions got the better of us. You're technically not on the show yet. Oh, I'm sorry. Everyone can see oh. you and hear you, so it's not completely wasted. But you're not you're fully lying. on the show until you're introduced properly. You haven't been introduced. We have to kick you off the show so we can introduce you and do this right. Okay. How would you okay, like bye. to be introduced? I don't give a shit. <laughs> oh, right. Fantastic. Perfect. Okay, well, okay. Hey, folks, <laughs> Grogu's and Gragas, I got to tell you, this next guest, he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> he has two Emmys. Ladies and gentlemen, the man who got this ball rolling, a beautiful Bobby Wool. Whoa! I'll tell you, I'm all right now, but last week I was in rough shape, you know? <laughs> Straight to the going. couch. Straight Keep to going. the couch. Keep going. Johnny's inviting you over. Here. Oh, okay, Johnny, okay, I'm still right now, you know. But you know, I I, did, I, I worked some rough rooms. You know, I worked uh, Dominic's boom boom on the menu. They had broken leg of lamb. Oh, that's oh, oh, like a real. That's like a real room, Robbie. respect it all. Guy comes up to the airport the other day. He says, "Loan me five dollars till payday." I say, "When's payday?" He says, "I don't know." You got the job. Oh, hey, that sounds like a rough airport, Robbie. No, tough crowd. 
Oh, rough crowd, God. Rodney. Rough crowd, Rodney. Rough crowd. The first guy I ever wrote for. That was the first guy I ever yeah. wrote was Rodney. Now, was it easy or hard to write for Rodney? He had such uh, a funny voice. Great question. Uh, in two yeah. ways, okay, he used to say it was very easy because he had a solid character, which is right. true. Uh, a but clean game. but you know, writing a great one line joke may be, God, it's hard because it's a perfect. It should have a beginning, middle, and an end. So it's a perfect form. So, and it's got hasn't been done before. So it, it can be difficult. I, you know, interesting on on uh, YouTube, which is everything ever existed is on YouTube. Yeah. I actually was watching one of Rodney's routines. They have them up there, and I realized, and this, that my God, this is the routine where he uses my joke. And wow. my first jokes, and he, I think it was 1970, 77, 78, 78 maybe, mm -hmm. 77, 78. And I realized as I'm watching, I go, "Well, that's a joke you couldn't do anymore. Mm -hmm. That's a joke I couldn't do anymore. Yeah, that's a joke I couldn't do anymore. Yeah, things change. Things change." Yeah. Things changed. I think, it, sadly, it, in the past, since since the last time we had you on the show, uh, Dangerfields, the comedy club in New York, has had to close yes. because of COVID. It They're saying the they'll first casualty of the New York comedy clubs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but it, it's been, uh, but you know, it's almost 2021. We've we've made it a long way since we were first struggling through those early days of the pandemic. Yeah, um, it's it's really uh, amazing. I, I'm just, uh, you know, it's it's great to see the success of the show. Do you have any idea how many what you've grown from, you know, uh, to where you are now, as far as? Uh, I think early on we had a few hundred people watching every week, and now we're up to a few thousand, which is pretty good. You know, we we keep. Yeah. Do you know how much money we've raised today, Bobby? I, what was the number? I heard it was a great we number. We were at $24,858.80. How cool is That's that? That's our, our yeah. biggest single day record. But wait, one yeah. sec. Bobby, there's someone else here that I feel like I got to bring in. What? I'm going to bring him in. And then we'll see how he wants to be introduced. But who right. could share this who screen with Bobby? Jimbo! Hey. There he is. I am? Yeah, you're here. Oh, oh yeah, I am. But wait, Jim, but Jim, wait, you're not on the show yet. You got to tell us how you want to be introduced. Um, probably my name. Okay, great. Okay, great. The Arliss crew keeps it tight, simple, no nonsense, no frills. <laughs> Folks, if I know one thing about this next guest, he doesn't give a fuck. So I'm just going to tell you his name: a big Jim Turner. <laughs> Yay! Yay for Jim! Oh, it's great to see you, Jim. Oh my God! Look at that! Yeah, so that's where Look we're at that. right now. Twenty-four eight five eight. We're getting there. We're getting there. I think we can break twenty-five. I want to break thirty. Yeah. 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 Well, and I got some. I got some special moves up my sleeve, but I want yeah. to break thirty. Woo! Only yeah, because Wado, your life day wish. You're not going to reveal that until we get to thirty, right? I think is that where is it right now on the chart? The life they wish. I feel like it's thirty. Yeah. I thought the goal was twenty. We've already and passed right. that. We, we passed that. Well. See you guys later. I'm out of here. Hey, no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Jim, I'm kidding. We, we can all to feed. I think we passed that around six p.m., which was a surprise to us all. That's fantastic. Right. That yeah, really yeah, yeah. Is. Um. Oh. Oh, oh wait, Bobby's there putting on go. clothes. Hang on. Well, Bobby's putting on a hat. If this, Bobby's putting on a hat, then I gotta put on a shirt. Well, this is um uh, this is actually what I wanted to show Jim. Jim, do you remember uh we did an episode and it was about this character, Scalpin' Sammy. Yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. 20 years ago. Wow. It was two two thousand, and we did an episode about the Cleveland Indians mascot. Yeah. And now this week, this week, this week, yeah. Cleveland said they're changing the names of uh, to, from the Indians. Yeah. So it took us yeah. a while. Yeah. But your work, our work, did it. Yes. And I have well, the T-shirt. I have the Scalp and Sammy T-shirt. Whoa! Twenty feet from me. Grab have, it, Jim. Let's see it. And I have a Scalp and Sammy T-shirt. Jim, if I know you were going to do this, I would have pulled it up. Oh. Yeah. I mean, could we'll find it, but it would take a couple minutes. No. Now you, Jim, who's that snowman? Who's that snowman character you have in the background, Jim? I see a sad snowman. Yeah, is that what I see? Snowman. 
Who's that snowman back there, Jim? That snowman back there. Snow what? Over your shoulder, yeah. the other side. Other side. Other, side. other shoulder. Other shoulder. Yeah. yeah. Nope. Yeah, other shoulder. No, other no, shoulder. Other shoulder. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Who's that guy? Who's that guy? Who is that guy? We always a clown. Oh, it's more disturbing than I had thought. <laughs> uh, it's a. Wow. It's a nightmare. Jim, it's wow. an absolute, it's an absolute nightmare. This, this was given to me by uh, a costume person on named right. Chess on uh, that worked on Arliss, and um, <laughs> she called me up one day and said, "I was working on this thing. They're throwing a bunch of stuff away. I have to give something to you." And she brought this over and put and put it in a box, and um, I went, "Wow." And uh, my, my, my friend, Nicole Atkins, this is funny. My friend, Nicole Atkins, whose T-shirt I just happened to be wearing today, singer-songwriter, uh -huh. told me, I'm filling out my will. And I mentioned to her that I was filling my will. And she went, the clown head. Who's getting the clown head? And I said, what do you mean? She went, I want the clown head. So when I die, I wrote in here. Uh, let me see. Hang on, here we go. There we go. Yeah. Oh wow! And I and I put Nicole's yeah. phone number. So when I die, somebody's got to call her saying, "What do you want to do with this?" I have not seen the film, uh, uh, the Snowman, but that feels like the plot of a sequel. What you just showed me feels like a prop from an unproduced sequel of that. People are hang on. People in the chat are pointing out that we just showed her phone, her number on camera. I'll blur it when it goes to YouTube. Don't oh, shit. Don't, shit. don't call Nicole. I'll I'll take care of it, Jim. Okay. All right. Um. Uh, that's, that's God damn it! I fucked it up, didn't I? No, you no, didn't. You did. Yeah, you did. You fucked it. Now there's a there. I understand there's the eye holes that you see out of, and then there's the mouth hole. But there's the the hole they put under the nose, which on first glance really looked like a Hitler mustache or a Chaplin uh, prior to yeah. that. Um, but is that to breathe through your nose? That's the nose hole, right? Uh, eye holes, right? Ear holes, and then a teeny little mouth hole. But it doesn't, fit, it doesn't fit like tight. It's yeah. right. a goosey goosey thing, you know. Yeah. Well, how much would it how much would it take? How much uh, a retrofitting would it take to turn that into an effective COVID mask? Oh man. I don't know. Um, <laughs> that would be good. That would be wonderful. Especially with the speaker or like a little microphone in there. Yeah. yeah. So okay. I'm gonna I think, you could, could it, I think you could could soup it up and make it a really, really effective COVID mask. And then you could walk around uh, and, and, and it would take care of other people with social distance. So you wouldn't have to. Right. You know, if you or, walk into a store with that, you immediately get six. Everyone gets six feet from that guy. Right. Or they come up to him or they're drawn to him. I would true. Be yeah, it's a danger. I'd be over there going, hey, how much? <laughs> yeah. I have the head? <laughs> What has been the what has been the thing that you guys have read or watched during quarantine that you really enjoyed? Is there anything? Uh, Queen's Gambit. Mm -hmm. I don't watch much. I really I don't watch very much at all. Um, I'm really I don't know. I'm just lame. Yeah. I've been reading a lot, but watch I watched Queen's Gambit, which I loved, and Wayne. What's I Wayne? just been watching Wayne. It's on. Uh, Amazon Prime. Okay. It's a fucking nutso show. It's about this like 17 year old kid who is drives down to Florida to pick up the car that his dad left him after he died, but his mom gave it away to her boyfriend. He gets in fights with every single person he meets. <laughs> Fist fights. <laughs> and it's a comedy. And, uh, I mean, it's it's fantastic. It really is great show, Wayne. That's great. I've only seen one episode. People in the chat are saying it's great. A lot of people in the chat are saying Wayne is good. Wayne is so good. Yeah. Uh, someone said I watched this show Arliss back in April, which is true. Hey, talk uh, about the good show. Wow, it was April, huh? Yeah, it was April and May, I think. Yeah. Uh, oh no, 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 it must have been oh, no, yeah. it was May. It was May and June. It May. Yeah. Um. Bobby, what about you? Is there anything you've seen that you've enjoyed? I binge watched uh, the, uh, the West Wing because I because I'd never seen it. Um, yeah. That was uh, I watched Queen's Gambit. I watched The Crown. Yeah. I, I watched. Um, 
Watto showing his poster. Well, I, 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 I watched also a, oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the best of I watched, um, uh, what was the other thing? Well, I watched a lot of baseball. Baseball got me through a lot. Yeah. And um, I've, I've been catching some shit today on Facebook because a friend of mine, a critic friend, and a filmmaker friend, a good filmmaker, he was asking for people's uh, 10 best films. And I, I dared criticize Raging Bull, God forbid. Um, God forbid. Yeah, no, I said, I thought Raging Bull, I've always thought this, Raging Bull is a fascinating piece of filmmaking about a very uninteresting subject. I don't think they go, I don't think they're interesting. Bobby. Bobby, I, I don't disagree. Bobby, I just saw it this year and I thought it was really boring. I See, there you go. Hey, what movie that, go, here's the question. What movie that everybody considers a masterpiece or is just greatness don't you like? I mean, Honestly, Raging Bull would be one of my first dancers. Yeah. As a movie where I'm like, I don't have anything bad to say about it, but I don't get it. Yeah. Like, I don't get, I, I, it would not be in my top five Scorsese movies, and everyone else thinks it's this towering work. Yeah, I agree with you. George, I think it's a, a perfectly made movie that I don't really care about. Uh, George, do you have anything, or Jim? Taxi, do you like Taxi Driver? I love Taxi Driver. I love Taxi Driver. I love King of Comedy. I love uh, After Hours. I put above. Uh, I, I prefer Last Temptation of Christ. It's not that I'm not a Scorsese guy, but I agree with you, Bobby. I don't find LaMotta very compelling. Yeah. yeah. That's why. George, I put way above. Yeah. Can I tell a little uh, Taxi Driver story? Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. Um, not, uh, years ago, about five, six years ago, uh, I, I get to group. I, I get together with a group of friends up in San Francisco because I I lived there for many 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 years, and we remain friends. And we get together all the time. And I went up there to see everybody. And I don't smoke pot. I just because it 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 I get freaked out. Mm -hmm. um, I drink thing. I drink my Manhattan. I drink my Manhattan. Um, and I just it, it, pot really. But we were all sitting there. And we were going to have make dinner and we were making dinner and they, somebody rolled up a joint and I smoked the joint. And then one of our friends had become sort of obsessed with this, this documentary about how oil was ending. There's going to be no more oil. And then there's going to be all these wars and it's time to, and it was about plastic and the destruction of the planet, all good stuff, all stuff we should know. But we're all completely stoned. And I can't deal with things like that when I'm stoned. And he put it in the DVD player and he started to watch it. And I said, I don't, Tim, I don't, man, I don't know. I really want to watch this right now. Um, and everybody else was going, well, but we should, we should check it out because Tim wants to, wow, holy shit. And there was like oceans was filled with garbage. All yeah. stuff you should know, but not when you're completely stoned out of your mind. Yeah. We finally convinced him, this is not the time for this. We need to watch something else. So we turned it off, and then our friend scanned through all of the things that he could watch. We ended up watching Taxi Driver. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Where she was freaking out, and, and about you know three quarters of the way through it, I'm going, oh my god, yeah, <laughs> what did I choose to watch, Taxi yeah. Driver? But when it first came up, Taxi Driver, oh, yeah. man. and I'd seen it ten times, I knew yeah. every single bit of it, but oh boy, oh boy, George, what about you? Um, well, it's hard, it's hard to think. Um, uh. Probably, um, I'm not wild about crash because I like it when cars go fast. Um, when and I had a bad, bad car crash. I had a bad. I had a bad car crash when I was younger. Yeah. Um, so that's that's a best picture winner that I wasn't. I wasn't wild about. So I'm just talking about a jet. I'll, I'll give you one of mine. It comes yeah, from right. 2001. Ooh, oh, I find it like so it. dull. I find, I mean, any movie where I got to watch two and a half hours of a light and cure delay, that's 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 rough going for me. Sure, right. I, I 
I like 2001, but I want to know what are, what are, what's going on with trade? Like what's going on with, uh, I want to know what's going on with the trading industries during that. It's like, let's get some of the heart of it. What are the tariffs like right now? Yeah. 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 I, um, I respect the Lord of the Rings movies a lot. I really respect them. I think they're, uh, uh, I think the making of stuff is very fascinating. And anytime you make a movie of that scale, it's very interesting, but I think they're all very boring. Wait, which are boring? The Lord of the Rings movies. Oh, well, what about the Hobbit prequels? I also think those are boring. Oh, and I, I'm watching them right now. I'm like going through my. I, right we're now, Patrick, we're, we're doing a show. Doing we're doing a show, Patrick. Okay, let, me pause it. Yeah, let me pause it. All right, there you oh, go. Well, I think, I'll right. think a movie I don't like. I mean, yeah. I yeah. like, I'm not a Gone with the Wind fan at all. I right. just, no, I agree. That I movie is so boring. Bobby. Here's yeah. the thing. I was arguing this with friends earlier in lockdown. And I was saying, like, I don't like Gone with the Wind. And their response was like, well, of course, it's racist. It's aged poorly. And I said, put aside the fact that it's morally reprehensible. I just think it's fucking boring. I think it's an unappealing movie about a deeply unappealing person. And not just unappealing, like not sympathetic. I just don't care to watch that character for yeah. five fucking hours or whatever it is. Yeah. Who gives a shit? The only good part in that movie is when the horse jumps and the little girl dies. <laughs> <laughs> Always good for a laugh. The horse jumping on the girl. It's a funny gag. It's good slapping. Yeah. I think we did it one time, Jim. <laughs> yeah. a, lot of, a lot of animals. A lot of animals. That, that movie yeah. is boring. It's so fucking long. <laughs> it is long. Yeah. Um, what do you guys have any wishes? Any life day wishes? I wish yeah. I didn't have to see Mank. <laughs> you have to see Mank. No, I did watch Mank. You want to talk? Yeah. You want to talk about Oscar bait? Whoa! Oh boy! Whoa. Oh, so Academy. Academy! That movie is so Academy. Oh, <laughs> such! Woof, woof. Yes, yes. I, I, uh, want I wish. A couple, okay, uh, quickly. I'll. Well, two things. I wish I never would have to hear a certain POTUS again in my life. There you go. Right. I mean, ever anything? I, I don't. I just ever. But on a, I wish everybody in, um, boy, Europe's got COVID, you know, really bad. I mean, I just wish that, that this thing, I wish I get to, I, I wish I get to see all you guys in person. For a That's second, for a second, I, I got confused and I thought you were suggesting that if you watch Mank, you'll hear Donald Trump in it a lot. And I thought, boy, I don't understand that movie at all. I thought you were suggesting that when you watched Mank, you heard the, uh, President Trump. I thought, did they book him for a voiceover? Oh, I know he's not exactly. running the country right now, so presumably he would have a little time to do some last-minute ADR. He's not a good actor. He, I mean, what's his best performance? Home Alone 2, and he's wooden as shit. He's <laughs> terrible as Waldo's dad in the Little Rascals movie. Oh, he's so bad in the Little Rascals movie. The first time I ever met this guy. Uh, oh, Bobby, go off! Bobby, let's go off! Okay, I'll, I'll tell you, it's, it's a while ago because I'll tell you where it was at. It was at the original Friars Roast, when the Friars Roast were at the Hilton Hotel in the afternoon, and they were off the charts great. It yeah. was before it went on TV and everything. It was just great. It was, a, it was like a, a it was like everybody's day off. Like everybody got drunk at the Friars Roast and took the day off. But it, it was actually, catch this, it was the roast of Robert De Niro. And it, Bobby, De Niro Bobby, was Bobby. kind of friendly. Yeah. So the day it was during Arliss because I was on the dais, otherwise I wouldn't have been there. So anyway, so <laughs> I, I was on the dais, and who's next to me on this enormous dais? But uh Trump, Donald Trump. Oh boy. And this is at the time when he had just broken up with Marla Maples, I think. Mm -hmm. And oh. so he's he's between wives, I guess. Uh and so I had to I try to be sociable, so I try to break the ice. And I said, nice to meet you, Donald. I go, so, um, are you seeing anybody right now? <laughs> this was his answer. Well, you know, I date some of the most beautiful women in the world. Yeah. And I said, he's giving me fucking credits? Yeah. I, I said, you know, it's it's like, and it's so true. That's what he does. Yeah. And he's like, yes, no. You know, it's like he's giving me credits. Yeah. You, you know what my immediate thought is anytime I, I hear him speak? Like anytime I'm unlucky enough 
to pass by a speaker that is amplifying his words or his face on the screen. My immediate thought, and it hit me just as you told that part of the story as well, is man, what an uninteresting brain that guy has. Yes. It's always my go-to. I just go, that guy's brain is so fucking uninteresting in how it functions. By the way, he ain't out yet. <laughs> I I know. Until I know. January 20th comes, he ain't out yet. Yeah. I yeah. 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 I want to know what, to, what, what I think about uh, uh, Donald Trump. Uh, yeah, go, go off, Jim, go uh, off. Go on uh, Facebook and go to Kevin Rooney's page. Come on, okay? Come Kevin on. Rooney is one of the genius fucking comedians and read what he just wrote today it's sweet spectacular i don't want just you go do it go kevin rooney so uh, jim what what is your what is your uh wish for the year because we got wish for the year is so corny it's not it's not going to be funny or or That's fun okay. That's okay but uh it's all about georgia it's all about georgia yeah um that's really we we have to have to have to do this, and I have a group. I have a group in Los Angeles called uh, Swing Left Los Feliz. Yeah. And we've done lots of different uh, political fundraising, and we raised seventy thousand dollars to to uh, get rid of Mitch McConnell. We failed. We but you, you guys raised a lot of money, and you guys did a lot of really cool stuff. We raised thirty thousand dollars to flip the Iowa legislature. Yeah. The Iowa legislature now is confirmed Republican for wow. a long time. Um, we lost all the five races. We were supporting five different women, all five of them. But yeah. we had no idea really what was happening in Iowa. Iowa is my home state. I love Iowa, um, though I'm losing uh, uh, patience with them. Yeah. Um, Iowa Trump won by nine points, which is the same way he beat uh, Hillary in 2016. Yeah. They also went for Obama in 2008 and 2012. Yeah. Iowa made Obama. They created like they they were a big part of Obama and read Obama's book. You'll see. Yeah. Anyway, we have this thing called Georgia Rising and it's called georgiarising.com. It's, it's a nonpartisan thing. And we're down there with coffee and donut trucks going to voter registration sites and voter, now they're going to, to early voting sites. Yeah. And people come out, we can't say vote democratic. We can't say any of that stuff. But what we can say is, would you like some donuts and uh, coffee? Why don't you, and we're going to mostly black areas. We're going to Democratic districts. So chances are we're hitting Democrats. Um, and I can say that. We're also working with Stacey Abrams' fair fair fight. Yeah. Not fair, fair front. Fair, fair, fair fight. Front, fair fair fight. Yeah. yeah. She has like eight different things. Yeah. And we're working with them. And what we do is we go up to people and say, you just voted. And can you triple your vote by texting three of your friends and saying, dude, did you vote? I stood out in the cold and the rain. I voted. Did you vote? And make them connect with three different people. Because that's how voting happens, is personal connections. Yeah. We also have shuttles going from homeless centers to voter ID places to drop people off to register them to get their voter ID so they can vote. And, and we've raised a couple hundred thousand dollars and but the more money we raise georgiarising.com i don't i'm not trying to steal from what you're doing no no you gotta. the more money we raise the more trucks we can put out yeah right it's and very important yeah and these things are all connected you know these aren't these aren't causes that are working at opposite uh, intentions it's all about trying to make uh, this country a better place for everybody to live yeah. yes George, do you want to, before we let them go, do you want to ask them the one last thing that we ask everybody to do? Well, that's right. Uh, uh, if we want to get a clean line reading of a special Star Wars word that we're asking everybody to say today, just if we could get each of you to say the word McClunky. Jim, do say, you want to go first? Yeah. What? Do you want to, Jim, do you want to go first? You can say McClunky. McClunky? McClunky. <laughs> It's almost uh, like the, the cop in The Godfather, McCloskey, but it's McClunky. McClunky. Exactly. McClunky? Did I say it right? No. It's Jim, a, I'm going to type it in the private chat. And you, uh, 
It sounds like something Sean Connery was saying. Yeah, yeah, there it is. It's it's up on the comments. Like Sean Connery was the cop in the I mean, in the Untouchable. That's okay, right. here we go. Do we, have a quick time? do we have a quick time for a Sean Connery story? Absolutely. Yes, yes of course we do. In honor, we got to we gotta get our McClunkies first, though. We get a clean okay. read from okay. Jim. Let's let Jim get it clean. McClunky. Yes. Okay, let's hear the Sean Connery story. Years ago, there was a golf tournament I got invited to. Uh, one of the lucky things in my life was the Ray Floyd Celebrity Lexus Challenge. Jim, you would have died and gone to heaven. I did. And uh, where's the poster? Poster's right here. I don't know if you can see this. If you can see that poster right there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the names on it that were, uh, were played in this thing was Chris O'Donnell, Arnold Palmer, Joe Pesci, Gary Player, Chi-Chi Rodriguez, Don Shula, Dave Stockton, Lee Trevino, Tom Weisskopf, James Woods, uh, Michael Chiklis, Clint Eastwood, Ray Floyd, Glenn Fry, uh, Hale Irwin, and I met the great Sean Connery. Yeah. And as luck has it, oh, what happened to my Zoom thing here? Where, where am I? You're good. You're still here. Okay. Yeah, but I lost my I lost my oh, here. Okay. So as luck has it, I'm playing with Connery. Lucky you. Yeah, really. How cool. But I got to tell you, Sean Connery is one of the great movie stars of all our lives. But like most movie stars, he's a bit full of himself. Sure. So we're walking down the first fairway. And, he's, and, he, and he refers to a movie that I did that, you know, did not do well financially. Cobb. Yeah. Cobb? <laughs> Yeah, and he says, <laughs> he says, you did that movie Cobb. You were in that movie Cobb, weren't you? And I said, yeah, I, yes, I was. He goes, I'll tell you why that movie didn't do well. I said, okay. He goes, because it was about what it takes to be great. And Americans don't want to see what it takes to be great. Uh -huh. I sat there, and I'm walking down. I go, uh-huh, uh-huh. Now that's that's maybe true, but I, I got to tell you, Sean, it bombed in the UK too. <laughs> he just whoa, well, 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 well. <laughs> you know, it bombed there also. So what's what's your point? <laughs> that's great. I love that, guys. You guys are the best. Thank you so did much. Did we get a clean McClunky from Bobby? I think so, but we can get yeah. another one. McClunky. Bobby, Jim, I love you guys. It's so good to see you. It, we too. miss you. Say, say we'll see you soon. Great to see you, Bobby. Bobby. Great to see you, Jim. Well, Happy in life day. Person. In person. In person. In How person. much did we raise in this time? How much? Oh, I don't know what that number is. Um, uh, what the fuck? Patrick. <laughs> Why was I even here? I know, Jim. This is the yeah, thing. Look, we, we've been say, trying so hard this. This guy still doesn't know how to produce a show. We, it's been, we try. It's actually been a few. It's been a few hundred because we're at twenty four nine eight three, so we're almost at twenty five. So oh, been, got to get to twenty five. Just a couple hundred. We need seventeen dollars. Seventeen dollars gets us up. Seventeen dollars gets us up. Oh, uh, let's raise that seventeen. Someone drop a Jim, twenty. Jim, we've been going for twelve hours, so this has been. Yeah, Jim, give him a break, Jim. No, yeah. your money's going to a good cause. I'm like, every, time, every time you raise a dollar, the kids are losing. We brought nothing. We gave nothing. No, you made a lot, and you made you us made happy, it. and that's what matters. Jim, 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 as, as you leave, as I, you leave, let's make you full screen, and why don't we give you a moment to talk to our viewers and chastise them for not donating more? Donate more. That's all that they only chastise. Donate more. Give. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, I have a note. I have one note. Jim, can you put that mask on real quick and do the same thing? <laughs> yes. Oh, I think that might be. And give him a monkey at the end. Yeah. Donate more. Donate as much as you can. We're feeding <laughs> America. Food going in their mouth. Wherever <laughs> my mouth is. There it is. <laughs> going in my mouth. Food. Now give us a McClunky. Give him a McClunky. No, with the mask on, you got to give us a McClunky. Oh, McClunty. <laughs> McClunty. Oh, McClunky. McKay. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Perfect. Perfect. We'll, we'll see you guys soon. Happy 2021. Let's go move oh. forward. Yeah. 2021, baby.
You know what oh, I'm saying? Boy. Bobby Jim. Oh, what oh. good part and of this? Oh, what I love about that is, is, it, is almost as if it's a ventriloquist that's saying McClunky McClunty. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's great. Now here's you the had thing. the hat on. I forgot what your head looks like underneath that. Oh, thing. yeah. Uh, <laughs> now here's the thing, guys. How, yeah. do you pop, how do you pop guests? How do you like pop that? that? How do you, you top? You I'm gonna bring You're in. I'm gonna bring in. I'm gonna bring in these two guests now, and they're gonna tell us how they want to be introduced. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Now wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, I need to make this very clear. Okay. I don't want there to be a moment's misunderstanding here. Emily, Noah, neither of you are on the show right now. Everyone can see you and hear you. Yeah, but oh, we're not right. on the show. This is being we're broadcast. Not. Don't say anything cancelable. But technically speaking, you're not on the show. This doesn't count because I haven't introduced either one of you yet. Okay, I follow. Now, I'd love to fix this problem. But there's only one way. You got to tell me how you want to be introduced. Real quick before I do, can I just say that, I mean, this election, record amounts of fraud were committed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I've got the record, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. I just uh, don't want to know. Has anybody? Have you guys? Just have you guys all read Dianetics? <laughs> okay, uh, I think we have uh, a few introductions. I don't know. Watto, go ahead, folks. I hesitate to bring these next two guests onto the stream. <laughs> I fear the ideas that they're going to foist upon our public, but we owe them. They've given us their time. Mm -hmm. Their goodwill in the past, and now we must repay the favor and give them a platform. <laughs> Grogros and Gragras, she questions the results of this election. He thinks you should really look into Dianetics. Noah Segan, Emily Heller. <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh, our first dab of the day. Oh, I wow. Did a little dabbing. I did a little dabbing before in the dance room. <laughs> Good. You guys have been gone 15 hours without any dabs? Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> How are you guys doing? How's it going? Really good. Good. I want to give an update because we are at 24983. I'm going to update PayPal. We didn't raise we didn't raise 17 bucks in the past five minutes. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me add in the new PayPal numbers. Add in those new yeah. PayPal. Um, You're just doing this manually? Idea. That that seems Patrick, you got to automate difficult. this show, Patrick. I do. I know. Automate. Well, here's the this problem. This show is right? made by hand, Emily. We make this Emily, show by hand. Here's the reason why it's got to be by hand because some people, okay, we're at 2530268 right now. Okay, Ooh. can I suggest a segment idea I have that Emily yeah. and Noah can help us with? Right. Yeah. When, when our friend Big Jim Turner was chastising, our audience for not donating enough. I saw people in the chat say, well, it's difficult to multitask. We're watching the show. There's so much funny stuff happening moment to moment. I don't have a chance to look away, open another tab, donate. So here's what I want to suggest. Can the five of us work together to make sure that nothing funny happens in the next minute? Give people one incredibly unfunny minute to done. Well, here's what I here's what I want to say, because I think we got to get something for this money. Yeah. Noah. Okay. Yeah. Will you go roll down that window of that car if they donate a lot the of money? Windows already, the window's already down, and my kids my kids' radio flyers in front of it. I can't, I can't move. I, can't, I hurt my, my back hurts. Okay, but <laughs> Noah, I thing. see a guitar. I see a guitar over there. It's not tuned. This is a great. This is all blue screen, guys. This okay. is not <laughs> Noah, Noah. What can we use? What can we use, Emily? I, I know, know because I'll right now, me. Noah, if you came out so the... hot and fast with those excuses. You had an excuse <laughs> ready. You said the windows already rolled down, and my kids' radio flyers in there. I got a bad back. He pointed to the guitar. You said it's out of tune. You have an excuse for everything. How yeah, many? Well, so Everything is broken in your house, uh -huh. apparently. Uh -huh. uh, uh, most of all, 
your spirit is broken, Noah. <laughs> um, someone in the chat said, where's Emily's dog? And that brings me to an important point, which I was going to say, like, I'll show you my dog if we hit whatever mark. Great. Okay. Great. Great. So we're, okay. At, we're at 25302. What do we want to say? Okay. I think we want to hit 2525. I think we want to hit 25,250. Wado, we're at, we're at twenty five thousand three hundred and two. Wado. Oh, I misheard you. I thought we said twenty five thousand. Can we hit twenty seven hundred and twenty? Whoa, you want to hit twenty seven? Can we? Is that is that? A, I mean, what what? How 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 much how much what, how much are we making per? Like, have we broken this down? We've been going. Like, make, we've been going thirteen hours, Noah. So. It's like okay, it's and I'll tell you, Noah. In 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 less than a few minutes, you delivered more excuses per <laughs> second than we've had in the full thirteen hours. I'm genuinely impressed. I want to see well, what we can get you to do that you can't find an excuse for to not let me do. Tell you something. The Hanukkah car is off is limits. Over. The guitar is it's a no go. Us. All right, guys. Noah's saying hi because right, it's <laughs> But life day is not Noah. It's not. <laughs> okay, here's my suggestion. Here's my suggestion. The stretch goal is 25,555 and 52 cents. It okay. is a palindrome, like tenant. Okay. And for the next minute, we can do anything we want on the stream except be funny. Okay. And no one can be funny. And if we reach the amount, Emily, you will bring your dog on camera, and Noah, you will point to your guitar. <laughs> Just point. Well, no, 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 no. Oh, this guy, he, when he doesn't have an excuse, he burns it. He burns it to the ground. Okay, so here, you guys. Are master, this is, we have not come up against a challenge like this. I'm, I'm re-energized re by this. George, you George know, Noah, you've never worked with difficult talent? Of course I have. I work, I work with Dreyfus. Um, I'm just going to read from this book about vegetable gardening in Southern California. Uh, go. I'm just going gonna, gonna to open up this pack of uh, phantom playing cards that I have from the movie The Phantom. Okay. Um, is there any, is there a vegetable that you want to hear about while you open it? Uh, how are you for leg legumes? Legumes, beans. I can read to you about beans if you'd like. Not Is green bean beans. Legume? Not green beans. Not green beans. I mean, beans. the general, the advice they're going to give is going to be pretty general to all beans. Common beans originated in the New World and were widely used by indigenous peoples throughout North and South America. Today, the most popular types with home gardeners are snap beans, Romano or Italian beans, and lima beans. Are any of those up your alley? I mean, I like I, an Italian. I an Italian be, lima beans are too funny. We can't talk about lima beans. No, yeah, that's but I too think, funny. I, think I mean, we're I in dangerous territory with the musical fruit in general. That's true. I should have gone green leafy. Yeah, green leafy. Okay, we can do some. We can do some green leafies. Um, I mean, I'm staying away from fava beans. What about yeah, uh, French tarragon? One of the classic fine herbs of French French cuisine. You know what? You know what would be good is like leeks. Leeks. Oh yeah, I'm growing some of those right now. What um, do you do with okay. them? You do all you do is soup, right? That's all you do with a, with a leek. Oh, you can use leeks in all kinds of things. Stir fry. A leek they, is, they, it's just a, it's just an onion, though. Really, it's right? It's just like a big old onion. Yeah. Um, from a chef's perspective, the book says leeks are an integral ingredient lending their elegantly delicate flavor to sauces, soups, and myriad other dishes. Yeah, but that just means they don't taste like anything. Delicate. I didn't say that. Del they're delicate, but it just means they're sort of subtle. They're oniony, I mean, but they're it also... Taste like much. They're like milder than regular onions, for sure. Right, it's like if you're, if you're an onion coward. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's yeah. too Which, funny. That's, I'm sorry. Yeah. Tone it down. Um, leeks are this. This is interesting to me. Leeks are yeah. virtually bulletproof when it comes to pest and disease problems, but 
try not to wet. Want to see them. Noah, yeah. show, show us your cards too. We want to see your okay. cards. So oh, these, yeah. so I got these. Uh, these they're from the fan, the movie The Phantom. I once did a movie with Billy Zane, and we shot it in Belgium. And oh. um, and we went to we took we had a, a weekend off, and he took me to Bruges, and we rented a bicycle built for two, and we rode it around Bruges together, and it was it was it was fun. I'm not it's not was not funny, but it was it was it was fun. Um, and, uh, you know, he had a lot of nice hats. So here we go here. These are cards that were made in, uh, 1996 and I just opened them. Um, and let's see, we've got, uh, we've got a scene on a, on a boat. Huh? Got a scene on a boat. There, they were in a boat in the movie. Here's, uh, some fighting. Nothing funny okay. about that, guys. No, it's very serious. Um. Anyway, uh, what, 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 anything new going on with the, with the, with the veg vegetables? Well, the burpee catalog came today, so all the new vegetables for twenty twenty one, I can buy seeds for. I, I got, I got, I got to tell you, Emily, a buddy of mine, he's been doing some gardening, and I hope he's not watching right now because he gave me some kale. And um, I planted it, and it died right away. Really? Uh, tell me about what happened. He gave you a kale he plant. He said, "Gave me a kale plant." He said, "This is dinosaur kale. This is oh, this is so uh, uh, this is hardy, and you know, even you, you won't be able to kill this, even though you're not a gardener." And you know, uh, uh, and so he gives me this little kale plant. And I put it in the ground and he says, just water it. And then, you know, you're fine. And that's what I did. And I come back two days later and the thing's like wilted. I think I overwatered it. I, if, I mean, if that's, I, I think, you I know, think it's that simple. And that's that. How, when did this happen? How long ago? This was over the last week or so. I overwatered okay, so it probably about four or five days ago. It could, could it come back? It could come back. Yeah. Plants can wilt and come back. That's just how they yeah. deal with what's going on around them. Where uh -huh. I would, I mean, I'm going to ask you to send me some pics of what, where you planted it. Is it in a place that gets a lot of sun? Yeah. It might be too hot. Um, you might need to I mean, I, watered, I put a lot of water right there. You put, put a, a lot, lot of water. I mean, you might be overwatering it. You should stick your finger in the soil, like right next to it. Stick your well, finger. It's like dry now. Inch. It's dry now. It's now. dry now. Yeah, it so you can walk right now, but it's like definitely like it looks, it looks. Can it's... I ask you what time of day you watered it? I mean, when I got it, like it was like middle of the day. I'd say, I'd say probably on three ish. Yeah, that's not a good time to water. You want to water in the morning. Um, and oh, do you know what kind of soil you have? Is it sandy? Is it, I mean, if you're in LA, it's probably sandy. It's, um, I don't, I don't know. I mean, it's in like our yard, our yard, is, it has like, uh, it has irrigation. So, you know, it's getting water. Yeah. But I'm talking about yeah. when I first put it in, I watered the shit out of it. You know what I'm realizing too? You, it's just in shock from being transplanted. It will come back. Guys, <laughs> I'm, I'm in shock right now. Do you guys want a fundraising update? Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Hang on, let's bring us in. I'm, uh, I'm we are now at first because none of that was funny. You, the two of you, did a perfect job. Great, great work. And we raised like six hundred bucks. <laughs> oh, great! Oh, are we there? Great. Are we at the goal? We passed the goal. We passed the goal. We passed the goal. This uh, well, this card. Done. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What's on this card? This card is uh, the character of Diana Palmer, who I believe was played by. Is that Christy Swanson? Uh, Let's find out. Hang on one second. Is that Christy Swanson? And she's yeah. Yeah, she's, Swanson. she's she's getting this guy. And the name of the card it says it says lending an elbow. Whoa, <laughs> lending an elbow. Lending. She lent an elbow, and um and there she is. She's she's drew. She's riding off. Um, wow. Is this riding off? Um, oh. Mr. Phantom. It's a risky okay. move. Now interesting. Now Noah, I I. I have to admit, I've taken quite a liking to that last card you just showed. This, and I like this one? No, the one, the after one, where she's where she's escaping with defense. 
Uh, oh yeah, she's yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's yeah, uh, on the move. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a classic flu shot. I'd love to propose a trade. I'm going to open up my pack of Return to Oz cards. Whoa, that's and a I want, to, I want to trade a Return of Oz card of your choice for that Phantom card. Wow, I, I mean, this seems like a good deal. Oh, oh wow. I don't Little know. Dorothy. Yeah. Little Dorothy yeah. signing off. Uh, I'm not alive. I never will be. Thank goodness. TikTok go. signing I off. I could just send. I could just send that as a as a as a as a headshot. Yeah, that's <laughs> a TikTok. They're very popular with Zoomers. Now, uh, Noah, you have something in common with the fourth build person in the Phantom. Who's that? So we got Jewish. Lotto. He's Jewish. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going for. Yeah, you caught me. No, Watto. Do you know what? Um, who the fourth build person in the Phantom is, Watto? Fourth build person in the Phantom. So is Zane is it top build, of course. Yeah. Is Swanson two? Swanson two. Is is four like the villain? I've never seen the Phantom. I'm gonna assume yes, based off of his character name. Based on his character oh. name. And Noah has something in common with him. Is he Jewish? I don't know. It's wow. uh it's Treat Williams. Who played a rebel soldier in Empire Strikes Back? Look at this. And, uh, oh, wow. Wow. Okay. I never he, knew that. He was just hanging out on set because he was friends with Carrie and they put him in the movie. I wow. mean, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. So, you guys know, that's, how you get, that's how you get the, uh, that's how you get the we, Stone Maroney Stark movie. That's how you get that's the, the Oh, man, we got to get that movie. We, wait, let's poster. let's pitch this TV show, George. Oh, yeah. we got to pitch a show. We're we're announcing new Star Wars spin-offs here on the George Lucas talk show. This is an opportunity for, to formally pitch the Stux Baloney spin-off show. Close. <laughs> wait, well, first of all, I think while Alan's on camera, we need Alan to be the biggest uh, thing because I think that'll yeah. keep the the money yeah, coming right. in. You're yeah. right. Yeah. All right, Wada, what's... wants you to put in more money. Yes. He yeah. also oh, wants that little guy. the hand. Oh, look at that little oh. guy. Mm. He's a little boy. His name's Alan. He's the puppy of the year. Um, he's just a little guy. Um, he likes to snorf. Mm -hmm. And I he thinks I'm his oh. wife. He really looks at you. He really does. Wait, watch this. Isn't that gross? Wow. No, really mm. Where are you going, buddy? Nowhere. I just picked up his bed that was on the floor. Uh, look at the camera. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, is this is this earning the money that people gave? I really appreciate yes, everyone I hope donating. So. Yeah, that, that's why I'm, I want Alan full screen, because I feel like everybody who donated is wanting to see as much of this as possible. Yeah. And we can still pitch the show. Which show are we pitching? We're pitching the Stormeroni Shark Disney Plus show that we all deserve. Yeah. Pepperoni Shark? I mean, well, look, I mean, that's a good A to B. Let's figure this out here. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe that's a, a sidekick or a villain, the Pepperoni Shark. <laughs> right. Pepperoni Shark sounds like a bad guy in Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But that's, look, it's a successful property. So let's, let's pluck a few elements from over there in that world. Bring it into Star Wars. Yeah. It's a monster. Yeah. Uh, Noah, what do you want? What do you want your Disney Plus show to be about? I would like it to be. I mean, I think Pepperoni Shark. I think it's about. I think it's. I think it's Stomeroni, Pepperoni Shark, and I think that it's. Uh, it's about uh, Stomeroni running a pizza parlor that yeah. has like a rounder style like backroom game, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like pepperoni shark, you know, um, and right. we're, um, we're doing deals and people owe people money and, you know, McClunky, McClunky. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like a McClunky yeah. kind of situation. It's a classic McClunky. Classic. 
Um, and where and where would you where would you imagine he opens up his uh, pizza place? Because I mean, Coruscant has the best pizza. That's we know that. Like, no is that a, is that is that canon? That's canon. Yeah, and Coruscant canon has the best pizza. pizza. No, no contest. Like, yeah. you don't want to get pizza on like Tatooine or even Alderaan. <laughs> even Alderaan before, like the pizza there is. You're not garbage. getting pizza on Alderaan, buddy. I got bad news for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, no, but before, even before the water on Alderaan, it's just different. Yeah. You couldn't, you know, like the it, nothing about it. Wait, they, I want they, that. I, I want I, that. I want that to be Pepperoni Sharks catchphrase in your show. You're not getting pizza on all the round, buddy. I got bad news for you. <laughs> um, let's let's say Mustafa, it's too hot. It the, too the hot. pizza is burnt. Yeah, yeah. They, it, it's basically blackened crust. It's it's completely right. blackened, and some people don't mind that. But it's uh, no contest. You don't want, even if you like the pizza, you're getting it to go. You don't want to eat it there because it's so fucking hot. That yeah, right. it, that's no place to eat pizza. On the flip side, hot. Planet. It's like hot a walking slice, cold. maybe. On mm, mm-hmm. the hot, every pizza becomes a DiGiorno's. There's no toaster oven big enough to counteract. Yeah. Yeah. Too cold. No. Too um, cold. Guys, we haven't asked your Life Day wish yet, and I want to get these in. What What are your guys' wishes for Life Day this year? You know, you can go first. I mean, I like. I want to talk about making sure that everybody uh, has enough food to eat and sure. is not hungry, and that like it's you know almost. I mean, here on on Earth, it's almost twenty twenty one, and that that shouldn't be a, a problem. Yeah, um, that should be like a thing. We should we should we should get that one done, and then like you know, then then work on. I don't know, high speed internet and, and some shit like that, you know, protecting yeah. democracy. You don't even have to you don't even have to like democracy to want people to be fed. Like you can really like that's like it's like the bar is low. Yeah. But yeah. um but so I want to I would want to say that, but then I gotta say I still want to find somebody help me develop the my my app idea, which I think is a very valuable concept. I think it's a multi million dollar app idea. It's an app that removes the saxophone from any song. <laughs> wow. Ah. Wow. Now this, now this is something because the, uh, my first feature film uh, was about a society in which uh, all sex was, was being, was forbidden. Basically. I'm sorry. I, gotta say, I see this in the comments and I have to make it very clear. It does not work on Springsteen. So oh, okay. big man's okay. Big man doesn't work. It doesn't work on the big man. Yeah. Okay, so, so you would job. you would you would go through uh, uh, Sice Noodles band. You would take the brass the the saxophone out of that. Listen, it's it's like it's it, you know. Uh, hey, it's I, an don't, I don't. I How you use it? I don't got a problem. I don't got a problem tinkering with the. Maybe it's just like movies. sax canceling headphones, so it doesn't affect whether other people can hear sax because people are really getting upset at you about this, and I think it's unfair because you haven't specify the mechanism yet i think it's just like if it's just for you yeah, yeah. won't yeah, it no, look I mean, you, you won't can it look buy the app or not buy the app it's 8.99 you know what i mean sure. it's like whatever yeah. however you want to spend yeah. your money it's up to you yeah. yeah just to just to raise a point just to ask a question on this because i'm in favor of this i think removing the sax is fine uh but when people are watching say benny hill won't it look somewhat somber when they're running around very fast like that and you don't you don't hear yakety sax what will you hear just well, silence just the wind <laughs> cuz i do believe that is a case where the music is really sort of informing the the image they're working hand in hand if we don't hear that is it just silent footage of a man chasing women around you know i think at that point we have to really reconsider whether benny hill is something that we as a as a society want want to maintain done i i don't yeah, think i, mean, I, think that I don't think we should you maintain it saxophone i think you've never enjoyed benny hill like if saxophone's not your thing that's just not something that you're trying to plug into yeah. Maybe and i want to make it very clear i like moment. sax all right i'm pro sax i like mm -hmm. sax so this is not just because i created you know it's like blaming mark zuckerberg or something you're like sax positive issues. You know what I mean? Yes, I'm sex positive. You know, it's like saying like, oh, like yeah. Mark Zuckerberg somehow responsible, you know, for what's going on 
on social media. Like that's, he just he just runs the, the plate. You know what I mean? Like how you use it? We, we, just, no. we right. wanted to know that you're sax positive. And Wait, guys. Yeah. Hang on. This, of course, is sexually unimaginable. Can we all vote on something before we wrap up here? Sure, yeah. Mark Zuckerberg. Hot or not? <laughs> not. You're giving him not. Okay, I'll give uh, him not. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say not. I wouldn't touch that with a ten foot barge pole. It's like a Blade Runner thing, though. Like technically, you can't find. It's like you know what I mean. It's like yeah, you can be like oh, like Rucker Hauer is like attractive or like Daryl Hannah is attractive, but they're not. It's not like a person. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I think my issue is the hairstyle. I don't the know what wh- what it is about tech billionaires where they try so hard to make their hair look like they don't have the money to pay someone look at make it look nice yeah like it's really bad yeah um emily let's get your let's get your life day wish because i want to let you guys go we've kept you too long um okay i'm gonna say that like you know we're pretty many hours into this already Probably mm. everyone has already wished for all of the sort of altruistic things, right? Yeah. So Probably. if I so if I wish for those things also, it's not like they're more likely to come true, right? No, they're yeah. not. These aren't cumulative. Yeah. So I can then wish for something. You can, for you me. can make an Allen wish. You can make an Allen wish. He already has everything he wants in the world. Maybe he wants to talk. Um, I don't want him to talk. He would be so annoying if he could talk. He would just be like, hey, 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 come home. Come home. Be here. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? Talk uh-huh. to Alan. That is um, so Alan. It's very Alan. I I mean, we talk about this a lot. I go like, you know, I wish he could talk. And my husband says, you don't wish he could talk because yeah. he would just never stop asking you to give him your hand. Yeah. Um, I want to be strong. I want to be really strong. Okay. Be able to lift whatever I want to lift um, and have complete control over the strength. Sure. But okay. I don't want it to like bulk up my body necessarily. Like I don't want to like have to buy new clothes. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I want to be able to do more things and have my body not hurt. Now, the final thing we will ask from you, can we get a clean McClunky from each of you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, McClunky. McClunky. You guys are the best. Thank you so like much. That. There was a little catch in that. There was a little catch in that throat on that. That was great. Happy Thank Life God. Day. Happy Thank Life Day. Okay, uh, what are total right great. now? It feels like we really moved the needle there. They really. Hey, I got, a, I got a stretch goal. I got a stretch goal to add. Yeah. And yeah. and. And Bryson, don't give me a don't give me a hard time about this. Let's just let's just accept that I know what I'm doing and that we're going to be fine. Okay. Well, let's talk about the stretch goal once we've brought in the guests because I think that'll. Okay. Can we say something first? Yeah. We passed the stretch goal, Pat Naps. So okay. you have the permission at any time yes, to take I a will. little nap. I will. I will. All right. Let's bring in. Let's bring in our guest. We'll see how he wants to be introduced. Okay. okay. All right. Bro, it's so good to see you. We can't hear you, though. I can't hear you. I don't know if you've muted yourself. You don't have a mic. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's gone. Just like that. I like that. He was I'll, gone. I'll say this. He counts, baby. Counts. And I'll say yeah. this, too. I think it was, I know that was like half an I, Overton. I think I know who Brian J. Jones' next book is going to be about. Buster Keaton. <laughs> <laughs> he was giving us a subtle hint with that funny slapstick routine. No words. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now can I tell you my thing, or are we waiting? What happens, Patrick? Seventy-five. <laughs> Update the counter. Seventy-five. <laughs> say it. Uh, say it. Um, while we're waiting for Brian to come back. Well, that's what I thought. So, what I was already going to do. Oh, okay, wow. here we go. Let's try it. Can you hear me this time? Yay! Yay! Right. 75. Update the counter. 75. Uh, hey, and Waco, how are you tonight? Hi, Brian. So, oh. Brian, here's the thing. You're not on the show yet. Right? Okay. Yeah. You see, you can hear me. That was my big thing. We can hear you. We can hear you. But here's what we need from you. Okay. 
We need to hear how you want Watto to introduce you. <laughs> As like I, right now, I mean, you write you write nonfiction. You understand the concept of being off the record. That's right. Right now you're live. Everyone can he see and hear you, but this is off the record. It doesn't. Oh. Yeah. Never going to make it into the real meat of the show. So I want <laughs> to introduce you properly so that we're covered. Uh, the, the man, the legend, the dilettante. Okay. Okay. What can I say about this next guest? He's the man, the legend, the dilettante, and the guy who's Descriptors of George Lucas's sexual history haunt him nightly. <laughs> Brian J. Jones. Are we still on that one? Okay. <laughs> uh, you think George is ever going to get over that? You published that. <laughs> uh, I am never going to live that one down. And even put my back against the wall last time and gave me a nervous rash. Oh, That's no. right. Oh, no. Uh, now, Brian, Brian, I'm so happy to have you here, but it's been reminded that uh, we crossed a, a stretch goal, so I need to do something while you uh, and George talk. I need to hang my stocking with care. Oh, please do. Stockings. Yeah. I uh, only got one. I live uh, alone right now. Everyone else went home for the holidays. Now, Patrick, <laughs> I want to add a little stretch goal to get us to the next bump, whatever it is. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. All right. What, what, where are we at right now? We're at 26, 45, 35. 26, 45, 35. So when we get to uh, 27,000. Yep. I'm going to show a little bit of a Star Wars movie. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh. And we'll see. And we'll see. Uh, we're just going to show a little clip. This is a. Uh, um, uh, I have a way that we can do it. I'm not sure if it'll work, but I have a workaround because we can't show Star Wars movies on the stream. Yeah. But I think I found a workaround using uh, some some uh, obsolete technology. Okay. Not be, it won't be the digital version. It won't be pristine. That's not what you're going to get on Disney Plus. Yeah. So but so Disney won't even let you, as the creator, show this on your stream, huh? Nope. No. But no I think I have a way that they're not going to be able to detect that I showed a little bit of Star Wars <laughs> film on uh, on the uh, on the stream, just as a reward for people helping out feeding America. Yeah. And I don't know. It might not work. It might not work. So full disclosure, this is a stretch goal that might or might not work. Okay. Brian, how is your life day going? Uh, my life day is going great, actually. It was uh, beautiful but cold here. Yeah. Um, what are you, I'm what going are you to care? be very careful. You hung up with care? I'm about to. So I just want to warn you, you don't have to adjust the conversation. Just know that I am going to hang this stocking with care. Okay. Uh, Brian, what is your what is your life day wish? That's something we've been asking everybody. My life day wish is uh, that the Christmas miracle I want is to get up Christmas morning, turn on Disney Plus, and find that every episode of Star Wars Detours has dropped. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Listen, we one hundred percent agree, and I would argue that's the best life day wish all day. <laughs> I'm just worried. I'm trying to be very careful. Be careful, Lana. Yikes. Um, now, Brian, this uh, it's been very recent since your last appearance. It's been uh, less than a month, I think. Yeah, I think so, right. And this is a very quick turnaround. What has happened in your life in the last month? Uh, you know, it's been very uneventful. We're still on lockdown out here in the wilds of New Mexico. Yeah. Um, now, I did actually uh, break quarantine for a little bit to fly out to Los Angeles to uh, be a talking head in a documentary about 80s pop culture in which I did not get asked about George Lucas or Star Wars, however. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Wow. Hearing was... in 2021 sometime or maybe spring of 22. I'm not sure. But... Okay. Um, was there anything without giving spoilers? Was there anything that you were either excited or not excited to talk about? I'll tell you the thing that I probably lit up the most about, and it's so wow. dumb, is uh, the final episode of Mash. Sure. <laughs> I was very, sure. I was very psyched to talk Mash. Um, yeah. They, they asked me about the final episode of, uh, or no, of Who Shot Jr. But I'm not great on that one because sure. I was like 12, and my parents are watching that and not me. But Mash, I was all over Mash. That's great. George, what are you looking at? I'm just, I like to cite my sources with Brian. You know, I like, uh -oh. to, I like to make sure that when I'm talking to him, I make sure that I get everything just right. Yeah. And it uh, takes a second because I got to, I, I always have to consult my Bible here. Uh oh. Brian, what's your favorite thing on your bookshelves behind you? 
We've been asking some people this. Uh, probably okay. I think I've shown this before, but yeah. So this is this is one of my favorite things, and this is not the original. I photocopied this, but this I think I showed this before. Oh this yeah, is, this is Jim Henson's passport. That's right. Um, which I love, and what the one thing I love about this is when I I had a copy of this, and when I I would always ask people when I was interviewing them, including Frank Frank Oz. Uh, Sinatra told me never to name drop, but I'm going to name drop Frank Oz. Um, <laughs> and they I would say, tell me how tall Jim was, and they would all go, ah, I don't know, you know, he was pretty tall. He had to be six five, six six. And Frank Oz, who says he's six, who's six four, said, "Well, Jim was taller than me." Uh, Jim on here self-reports his own height. You can see that six foot one. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you know, he seemed much bigger to everybody. But I love that. I I love. I mean, even Jim Henson can't take a great passport photo. Uh, but I but I just I love this and the original of it. If you would open it up, flip the next page. Yeah. He had all these pages stapled inside that kind of dropped out accordion folder style, where he'd been flying back and forth on the Concord a lot of the times. Uh, oh, yeah. but, between New York and uh, London when he was doing the Muppet show. So, so I didn't, I didn't make original, you know, good full color copies, a lot of stuff in the archives, but I loved that. So that was uh, one of the things that I, I photocopied. What was, uh, what was the coolest thing that you saw while you were writing? You like, mean writing about Jim? That, yeah. The thing that you like, whoa, you know, um, probably the neatest thing. And, you know, and again, it's, it's it wasn't necessarily something that was uh, that contributed to the research, but you love like the tactile experiences. And yeah. when they were performing, when they were recording every installment of the Muppet Show, Jim would take his script and he would put it inside this leather folder yeah. that had his name in, inscribed on the Muppet Show logo on it. And and like that that was still there, and you could open that up, and it you know so it was like the thing that he had touched and carried yeah. with him for five years while he was doing that show. That was great. And then the other great thing is. Um, uh, Karen Falk was who runs the Henson Archives was posting you know sub excerpts from it, but they have something called Jim's Red Book, mm -hmm. and it was like his diary. At the end of every year, he would kind of download information and write down all the key events for the year in it. And it gave you a good idea into his frame of mind. And as a biographer, it helps you like track where you are in the year. Um, but that's another thing. You open it up, and it was a great resource. But it's also in his handwriting. Yeah. Which as which as a biographer you love because you can see where like the pen dug into the page if he got mad or if he put a box around something or if he underlined something, it's a real good look into the state of mind. So so when you're when you're dealing nonfiction, you love stuff like that. That's great. did you ever did you ever get your hand inside a real Muppet? No, you know, and and the one that was sitting uh, on the in the workshop when I was doing a lot of the research there was Grover. And you talk about a Muppet you want on your arm, right. but it was yeah. I just it was it felt too. Um, you had your too, chance and you didn't take it. Is it that felt too. Is? It felt too personal uh, yeah. to like stick my arm up Grover's rear end. It just yeah. it was one of those things. Yeah. I was too. I was too much in awe. You were worried other... that he would think of you as the monster <laughs> at the end of that book. Right. And the other Muppet that was there that I was that I would have loved to have like just played with is Fat Blue the guy that when yeah. Grover's the waiter, he's always the guy ordering soup. Let that, yeah. that Muppet Fat Blue, Mr. Yeah, Johnson, man. he wow. was there. And that I love that. And Snuffleupagus was hanging from the ceiling, but he's too big to, yeah, you would have big to guy. get inside of him. Yeah. Big guy. Big guy. Big guy. Um, Brian, shall I, shall I do a little bit of holiday reading? Just a little bit. Please, Please do. Yeah. Please. Uh, because I, I'm, I'm curious uh, how you. Well, I like the surprise, Uncle Scar. While it seemed there was no detail too small for Lucas to involve himself in, he was still handpicking his staff and approving merchandise. There was one project he had ceded almost entirely to others. A Star <laughs> Wars holiday special. Oh, CBS I thought that there was planned, going to say fucking his wife. Yeah. <laughs> which CBS planned to air the week before Thanksgiving. Lucas had engaged with the project early, sitting down with television writer Bruce Valanche, friend of the show, to go over a story treatment that provided only some very vague but ambitious basics. It would take place on Chewbacca's home planet of Kashyyyk. The, the Wookiee family would, uh, would overcome Imperials on their way to celebrating the holiday life day, and much of the special would involve Wookiees speaking to one another in their own language of grunts and roars without the help of subtitles. Valanche listened carefully, then exhaled slowly. You've chosen to build a story around these characters who don't speak, he told Lucas incredulously. The only sound they make is like fat people having an orgasm. <laughs> Lucas glared back, unamused. And Valanche threw up his hands in surrender. Lucas, said Valanche, had what a director needs to have, which is this insane belief in their personal vision, and he was somehow going to make it work. It didn't. 
Wow. Now, friend, of the, friend of the show, Bruce Valanche. We can say that now. Like you say show. that I glared back at him, and then you say unamused. This is Valanche's version of things, yes? Uh, yes. So this is that he was. It was just him and me in the room. Correct. Uh, right. He spoke to me. You didn't. <laughs> oh, oh! So I get how this works. You punish me. <laughs> you punish me. Actually, he didn't speak directly oh. to me, but he's been he's been quoted and interviewed and discussed it openly before. Yeah, right. yeah. He's, he's on the so he's on the record. Oh, okay, okay, so all right. Hold on. So what you just said. <laughs> we've got you, Brad. We've got you. We just got you. <laughs> oh, because actually, actually, you're saying you didn't speak to him, but actually, he's a friend. He's yeah. a friend of the show. I know. He's well, you could ask show. him. Ask him to uh, to verify. Uh, yeah, we'll own, get him. Ask him to verify his own version inches. of. The, have him verify his own version of the story. <laughs> he said eleven inches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a friend of the show. You really so, don't think the Star Wars holiday special holds up, Brian? I think it holds up, but not for the reasons you were hoping. Yeah, but in what ways do you think it holds up? What are the best things about it? What do you love most about it? Uh, the what kitsch, like fa do? the kitsch factor, and Boba Fett. Oh yeah, love that kitsch factor. Well, I mean, love come it. on, Carrie Carrie Fisher singing to John oh, Williams' yeah. music. It gets no better than that. It does. It truly. What a great blurb we have for the Blu-ray when we put it out. And it uh, no and, and what that. I love, and and Harrison Ford looks like he would prefer to be doing just about anything else. So uh, <laughs> right, he was he wasn't helping you much there. And then Hamill, it was right after he'd had his accident. He's still being rebuilt a little bit in that one. So. Yeah. I will say, I will admit, oh. Harrison looks less happy in the holiday special than he does in any movie in which uh, his family is threatened uh, in later years. <laughs> so he never, he I, never, he never, uh, he, he's great in so many movies in which his uh, various fictional wives are kidnapped or put in danger, but he never has that look of dread. No. Whether it's I, in, I in this too. Yes. Uh, he feels happier. He looks happier. Every time I've seen a photo of him exiting a crashed plane. <laughs> it's very yeah. true. Right. Yeah. I think it's very interesting that both if you look at uh, the holiday special and THX, not, uh, yeah, the THX, the one, uh, the theatrical version, there's a, uh, a simulated uh, sort of sex scene in both of them. Video, yeah. video scenes of, you know, people dancing. And it's, it's a very interesting uh <laughs> almost, sort of, almost sort of, you might say adventurous. Yeah, it kind of reverberates down through your Actually career very early. Contradicting, and then, yes. contradicting what I mean, you, uh, Brian. Why do you think George started a video show during quarantine? <laughs> exactly. Exa okay, well, you know, there's um, there's something in nearly every it. episode of this live stream, and and that is what is that if not a mating ritual? <laughs> we'll take that one offline, Brian. That's the right. thing that we're asking everyone to do uh, before we let you go is say the word McClunky. McClunky! Wait, 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 He's the best. Uh, Watto, we have another guest. Oh, great. I'm trying to remember where my goggles went. I know we don't need them right now, but I'm trying to stay prepared. Yeah. I just have too many objects around, around me right now. Uh, that's okay. Let me. I'm going to bring the new guest on, Watto, and we'll see how she wants to be introduced. Is that okay? okay. Fine with right. me. Here we go. Okay. Wait, oh. Mara, you're muted. You're muted. Sorry, I was muting myself because. Uh, but don't say anything yet. You don't want to burn any precious information because anything you say right now does not count. You're not on the show yet because you haven't been introduced. I would like to introduce you. How do you want to be introduced? That's what we're doing with everyone all night. We want to know how people want to be introduced. We've been doing this for 13 straight hours, every guest without exception. But I can't talk? 
No, you can now. No, I, I can't now. talk. I yeah. can't talk now. Okay, okay. I was just kind of making sure that I knew the rules. Yeah. Um, Look, you, you can um, talk. The problem is it's just not going to count. You can say anything now, but it won't count. It won't count. It only counts when you say it. Yeah. Right. It only counts once you've been introduced. Okay. All right. And you have to do you have to be the ones to do the introduction. Okay. It's okay. the way it is. I'm sorry. George no. tried it once and it went disastrously. Okay. Well, well, I understand. Um I'm unless unless Mara, you would like to introduce yourself, which is something we haven't tried. Uh you can do that if you would like. Um I if you would like it. I'm Mara yeah, Wilson. I, I met George once when I was about five or six years old. Um I am a writer, actor. Uh, voiceover actor primarily. Uh, I just did the audiobook for the book, um, The Faceless Old Woman Who Secretly Lives in Your Home. Um, I'm the author of Where Am I Now? Uh, I uh, am the actor in Matilda, Miracle on 34th Street, Mrs. Doubtfire. Uh, yeah, I mean. Okay, I want to see how Watto, I want to see how Watto does with this. Let's have Watto. Okay. Okay. Wasn't that her introducing herself? I want you to try though. <laughs> You tricked me. Go ahead. Folks, our next guest is a writer, an author, an actor, primarily a voiceover actor these days. Uh, you know them. They did recently the audiobook for an audiobook, I forget, <laughs> but they also wrote the book. Where am I now? And they have been in some movies like Matilda and Miracle on 34th Street mm -hmm. and also Mrs. Doubtfire. Mo Wilson. There we go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> your introduction you, was better. Your introduction, you. I wanted your introduction to be canon. I wasn't trying to take your introduction. I thought you did it so well. It didn't need to be done again. But Patrick is a rat. Ah, uh, it's Patrick's fault. Okay, so now we know who to blame. Yes, absolutely. Always. Yes. yes. Now, Patrick, did you do your hair? Did you do your hair differently? Yeah. I mean, I, I gave myself a quarantine haircut. I cut my own hair. Um, it's very short right now. It's shorter than it probably should be. But uh, yeah, I've been cutting my own hair uh, during this time. We hit $24,000 and I said I would shave my head and everyone said, not all the way. Ah, so, so okay. Thing, yeah, this is where we're at. It's a little, it's a mess, but yeah, it's a work in progress. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mara yeah. His head is basically the you. 1977 cut of A New Hope. Yeah. <laughs> someone, it's like someone, a, it's just yeah. incomplete. It's yeah. not done. It's just not done. It's yeah. just not done. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You can barely see my hair because it's covered in these, um, you know, Princess Leia kind of uh, headphones. But you want to, uh, you want to show it off? You take off the headphones. <laughs> I mean, it's still kind of a mess, but uh, yeah, it's. No, that's a nice haircut. It's a nice haircut. That's it's great. thank you. It's not bad for for doing it myself when you have I have no skills. One thing I was noticing is I actually I'm really bad with directions and like turning things around. So like I was yes. looking in the mirror or, or not even in the mirror in in the vid, like the preview video and I was like trying to adjust my bangs. Yeah. But I was like, do they go this way or this way? Like I get all turned around when I look yeah. in the mirror or yeah. something. Hard so. To know. Uh, it is. It's very hard to know. Do you think that comes easier to you as a filmmaker? Um, well, no, because I'm all, I am have the advantage of being able to frame frame the image that I'm seeing in front of me, which is very different than if you were mm -hmm. having to film yourself and mm -hmm. frame the image reverse, which is yeah. essentially what you're doing. When you're, anytime you're dealing with mirrors or looking at the image. Uh -oh. Like, oh, wait, uh -oh. hello. Another no, another I'm, cat. I'm, yeah. We, last, last time we talked, one of my cats came in, and this time another one is oh. coming in. Oh, my so, goodness. Uh, oh, say go. hi, Milo. Hello, Milo. Say hi. Mara, yes. how many cats do you have? I have two and a half cats. Two, two cats right now. Two, well, actually three, but two and a half because one is my sister's. Cats, cats, cats. Right. Cats, cats, yeah. yeah, there we have, that's Mara, pitch that. Let's well, sell that in the room. Star Wars, two and a half cats. Star Wars two and a half also, cats, yes. Yeah. We're trying to get as many guests as we can today. Yes. Can we get those other two cats on camera? Can we get the other two cats? Probably. Maybe if my sister helps me. Okay. Um, but she's she's busy. Hey Anna. Anna. No, wrangling, wrangling cats. You Literally, wanna, we're wrangling cats uh, on the show. They said they're trying to get more guests on the show. Can we wrangle the cats? Yeah. To be on it. And and Anna would also be and, a guest. 
And I could also be a guest if she wants to, if she wants to be on it, but yeah. she's like, I don't want to upstage you, sorry. You, Anna says she doesn't want to upstage me. No, just, just <laughs> in a way, that's all we need. Um, be a walk on. I was also told that we have. Here. Yeah, well, here's Anna's, Anna's making everything, but here's Basil. He and I match. 78. Black and white. Yeah. Say hi, Basil. Oh, my God. Hi. He's very, very cute. Stripe. Yeah, he has a nice he has a nice stripe. He's a little toxic cat. And then there's Theo, who was here last time. Theo watched Whoa. Arliss Hello, with Theo. us. We remember Theo. Hey, Theo. Yes. We gave, him a, we gave him an Arliss name. I'm trying to remember what it was. Yeah, I don't remember yeah. what it was. Oh, it, I think it was Theo Arliss. Theo yeah. Arliss, something like that. Yeah, with like, yeah. With like little symbols. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was it was great. Our 80th guest, a returning guest. Yes, returning guest. Thank you, Theo. Yeah. Now, Mara, uh, Mara, mm -hmm. I was told I have some stuff that I can I can auction off. Uh, yes. So what I was told is I have ten signed photos. You do. That I want to auction off. So I'm going to mm -hmm. say the first ten people who want to send in a hundred dollars will get a signed photo. Yep, um, you're going to get signed photos. Yeah, send it in. You'll get them. They'll be mailed to you, and everyone is happy. Yeah, I think I said like CERN photos, signed photos. Uh, I don't know why that was hard for me to say. Actually, a hard phrase. Yeah. What did you say? CERN photos sounds like a Star Wars character. That's, it that's does. a great Star Wars character name. Yeah. I'm Stern Furtos. Stern, yeah. I'm Stern Furtos. Yeah, Stern Furtos has, has. Let's get some fan name. some fan art of of Stern Furtos. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know what what he looks like, but I, if we can see some concept art, we can make a decision. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think we spell it like S E R N S U R N something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. What like what that. language is that? Do you think? Like. Stern Furtis. Yes. What what uh, which which in the Star Wars in your world what language would that be? Basic. <laughs> and I th I think it's I think it's uh. uh F E R D O S, Ferdos. Ferdos, yes. Yes, I think so. Yeah. That, there is a weird thing that in Star Wars, the most commonly used language that, that we hear as English in most of the films is called Galactic Basic. But yeah. in today's parlance, it sounds like a slam, like it really your language, basic. Yeah, yeah. it does kind of, doesn't it? Yeah. It does. I, I think a lot about like, uh, there's, I feel like I've watched a lot of shows and movies and stuff about alternate realities and alternate worlds. And um, it's kind of weird to me when people go into those worlds and they all speak English. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or they all at least speak like the same language, yeah. you know, where it's like we, we open this, this portal to an alternate world <laughs> and, uh, and everybody here speaks English or, or at least like French or, or something like that. Like yeah. that, that's a very, yeah, that's a very uh, common thing that occurs. Um, I, I always appreciate it when a movie or a TV show or a book, any sort of fictional media, takes the two seconds to go, oh, we put a device in your ear that translates right. everything so you understand yeah. it. It's yeah. just, that's never five seconds that I think are wasted. That's always <laughs> time well spent in my book. There right. is, and it's it's a it's a universal translator, or it's a fish in your ear, or it's just something, yeah, yeah something that helps. It, yeah, oh, right. here's the thing, and because of it, it sounds like we're all speaking the same language. Don't worry, not a concern for the rest of your journey. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what you don't want is to spend half your life writing like an elf language. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if you're a storyteller, you want to get down to telling the story. You don't want to. I mean, unless that is what you want, but I, I, I can't imagine anything more tedious than. For some people, up, uh, yeah, yeah, for some people that is what they want. That that is yeah. yeah. Everybody, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to kink shame J.R.R. No. Tolkien, no. but uh, you know, yeah, he, I mean, their own. Well, I was thinking today about how, like, like, um, yeah, because because it does feel to me like I, I I loved Lord of the Rings, but I feel like a lot of those books. He sometimes I'm like, you just kind of wanted to write other languages and make up songs, didn't you? Like yeah. it's, and and you came up with a good story like around it as well. It sort of makes yeah. me feel like how I was thinking today that um, I don't really like like the book of the Odyssey. I think the Iliad is more interesting because the Iliad yeah. actually has like interesting characters, and the Odyssey. But like anything based on the Odyssey or like inspired by the Odyssey is like fascinating because yeah. you know, oh brother, where art thou and stuff like that. Because it's it's like a fun trope. The like, uh, how am I going to get home? Kind of mm -hmm. thing. But the actual book itself, I'm just like, you're just following this guy around and he's kind of, he's, he's kind of a, can I say schmuck? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah absolutely. He's kind of a schmuck. He's yeah, kind of a yeah. schmuck, you know? 
and uh and and yeah but but it's the the like the trope of it is good it's kind of like you know it's it's like sometimes uh sometimes good base, that rare good base code it's i think exactly. it's like a good base code yeah 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 good base code i mean george you know a lot about that because uh you know you know the hero journey and all that that's uh the yeah, hero's journey that's kind of your thing he loves it yeah. it's only yeah. a yeah i just remembered something yes that that had come to my attention It came to your attention. Did we lose him? We might have lost him. Oh, Lotto, you're back. Can you hear me? What did you say? Something that pertains to you came to my attention since the last yes. time you were on this show. And I feel yes. like I have to share it. And if everyone else has already told you this, please tell me to stop. <laughs> okay. I, like many people in this quarantine, I think have taken a lot of comfort from the endless well of YouTube videos that magazines that now have pivoted to video do where they have a person on and they're like, I'm an expert in this and this is all the ways that I do this. You know what I'm talking about? They're like, I'm, I'm a, a mustache expert and I'm reviewing 15 mustaches. And whatever, mm. right? Oh yes, yes, yes. I've seen a lot of like, like ones with languages, lawyers, things like yeah. that. Yeah. A lot of professions. Exactly. Yes. Yes. So there's there's a subgenre of this, which is voiceover actors mm -hmm. review people doing impressions of their voices, hmm. which tend to turn into those voiceover actors starting to teach lessons on their sort of approaches to voiceover acting, a thing I know that yeah. you do professionally, but that's mm -hmm. not where I'm going with this. Okay. I watched one of these videos with Nancy Cartwright best mm -hmm. known for playing Bart Simpson on The Simpsons. Mara, Mara, Mara. Yes, yes. He's, he's Bart Simpson. Who the heck are you? Oh! Well, 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 I'm about to answer that question. Okay. And Nancy Cartwright was talking about her process of developing voices. And she said, I'm always looking for voices I find interesting that I put in my back pocket. Like here's one, for example, and she did a little girl's voice. And she said, I based that off of, I was watching a movie the other day and this actress, Maura Wilson, that was her voice. And I found it so compelling. I practiced it and I haven't used it for a cartoon character yet, but really? in my back pocket. And someday I'm going to find a character to use that voice for. So she did her impression of you and said, <laughs> I'm going to find a place for this someday. Wow. You know, I, I've heard that before. I heard her say that in interviews. And I always wondered if she'd used it as a character on The Simpsons because I grew up on The Simpsons and I knew, you know, every episode. Yeah. And I thought for a while that she used it for the little girl at the at the um at Moe's restaurant when Mo opens uh, Uncle Mo's friend uh, family feedback. Yeah. And because yeah. there's a little girl who says, you know, Uncle Mo, the soda is too cold. It makes my teeth hurt. And uh, but it's someone who has like a little bit of a lisp, and I, I did. Yeah. I had a little bit of a lisp when I was when I was a kid, and uh, which is now you know immortalized in film. Great, and uh, it's um, it's something that like I, I thought that that was what she used it for, and uh, but but I guess she hasn't used it yet. So so I just have to keep keep an eye out I, for it. I got to check the date on this video. As of the time it was posted, she claimed yeah. she had not used it yet. It was in the pocket. She had yeah. it saved in the pocket. I mean, I can't really think of a higher honor than that. Like, I, no, I, I, I can't really. That's that's something that, you know, just completely blows my mind. And I remember when I was little, I, I kept thinking, like, I would love to be on The Simpsons. And uh, and in a way, maybe I was. <laughs> or yeah. maybe. If she ever uses the voice, you should call her up and go, okay, pay up. <laughs> and you know what you could say to her? What? I'm Mara Wilson. Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? <laughs> well, now, Patrick, Patrick, I have a. I was about to ask you a question because you quoted Bart Simpson a, a, a minute or two ago, and you censored his original line. Mm -hmm. You changed it. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to. <laughs> you found it, I, you honestly sounded as if suddenly we were on the network, or, yeah, or you were teaching like Sunday I school somewhere. Cheated. I yeah. wanted to quote The Simpsons and you cleaned it up? Yeah, as soon as I said it, I was like, why did you say that? That's not the line. You know that's not the line. Yeah. Um, Mara, do you have a do you have a life day wish? Oh, um, I I mean, I I I wish that you guys will meet your goal. Actually surpass your goal, double your goal. Uh Ooh. let me say that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um 
Yes. What What are some other What are some other life day goals like? Some people are saying vaccines. Some people need a new coffee mug. You know, it can be anything in between yeah. those. Um, um, yeah, I would like everybody who who needs to get fed to get fed. Yeah, uh, that is very important. Right That's line. something yeah. I've been I've been trying to do. Uh, you know, a lot of stuff lately. So thank you for doing that as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's been very important. Um, yeah, selfishly, I think I need a new trash can. So is R two doing anything? <laughs> no. no. Yeah. Um, I actually love R two D two. I do. I, I love him. He, even if he does look a little like a trash can, um, he wouldn't mind. He wouldn't mind for the right person. He would let you put trash in him. Really? Wow. Wow. Mm. R two like he wouldn't let. He would never let three PO do it because uh, it, there's a dynamic there. You know, is that like a is that like a kink thing or is that like mm. like no? Like, it just has to do with everybody thing? has their everybody has their levels with various people. That's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah. I feel like we would understand each other, me and yeah. me and R two D two. Yeah, I, I, he was he was always one of my favorites of the droids because uh, because he was like small and angry, and uh, yeah. and, and that kind of describes me as a kid too. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah I think I think R two. If you if you said I have some trash, I don't know where to put it. I think R two would just be like, Mara, you, you can put your trash in me." Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, 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 I'll use it for energy or something, you know? Yeah, he might. He might. That's true. We. I mean, I was gonna say we don't know, but you would know. Um, yeah. you would actually know. Yes, R two D two is a problem solver. That's very true. And yeah. and he he'll surprise you. You know, like he sometimes he'll fly and shoot fire, and then he'll just like not do it. <laughs> That's like, true. He'll do it, and then other times he'll be like, "Why aren't you flying and shooting fire?" And he'll be like, "I don't feel like it." Yeah. Yeah. And uh, don't ask me. And I don't like. ask me about it. Don't ask me about it. I mean, he's kind of like a cat in that way. Yeah. You know? yeah. Where where like he'll he'll do it, but only like. Like my cats know their names, but they only come when, um, when like, and I'll call their names and yeah. sometimes they'll just look at me. Yeah. R2D2 is yeah. kind of like yeah. that too. He's like, yeah, I have powers, but. R2 is yeah. a cat and 3PO is a dog. And kind of like a dopey dog. Like a dopey yeah. fancy dog. Mara. Think, yes. Oh, I, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say, no, I think he's a smart dog, but just like, like smart in a, in a very specific kind of way. Like a poodle. Like a show dog. Like a show dog. Yeah, a exactly. Um, exactly. Something that we've been having all of our guests say before we let you go is we're trying to get a clean read of everyone saying McClunky, which is a line from Star Wars. Okay. Um, all right. Do you want to direct me on, on how to say this or just? This is a, this is a I always like, I always, uh, I always like uh, something fast and intense. Okay. McClunky. Yeah. George, George, you talked. Mara, one more okay, time. Let me try it again. McClunky. Yes. How's that? Great. Okay. That was, that was great. Fast, intense. I love it. Okay. Okay. Super. All right. Thank you so much for having me, guys. Good Thank you. Right. Happy life day. Bye -bye. Yes, you too. Wado. I couldn't I couldn't find the exact quote, but I looked the video, the Nancy Carthright video is from seven months ago, and she claimed that she had not used the voice yet. What, Patrick? What's going on? What would Why I are you do? making Spock eyebrows? I know. I was I was only gonna do it for a second, and then I did it, and I was like, "They look pretty good. Let's leave them like that." And that's why I did it for so long. Maybe Wada, that's what, the next shave project. No, Wada. What would you do if I told you we were about to get up to eighty-two? Two guests at one. Who can but, do that? Patrick, I'm worried that these two guests might not work well together. Let's find out. I'm gonna bring them in. Oh, these are old friends who are friends oh. with each other. These Happy guests life, are yeah. going to get along famously. <laughs> we do. We do get along famously. Hi, Watto. Hi, George. Hi, guys. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. You are two of the best writers in the business. I don't want you wasting any unusable words right now. Because you're not on the show yet, officially. It doesn't count. If you say something now, it won't count. You're not on the show yet. We're live. Everyone can see and hear you. But you haven't been introduced yet. So it isn't canon. How do you want to be introduced, Benji and Dan? Great. Got it. Okay. Folks, Grogu's and Gragas, what can I say other than these two guests coming to the show?
Benji Seventh and Dan Hernandez. Hey, Woo! great to be here. Hi guys, so good to see you. Thrilled, thrilled to be here. Thrilled yeah, to be here. They, they wrote Detective Pikachu. Yes. And let's get to the bottom of this because you guys have been hiding a secret from us. And it's right. a, I, knew it's this was I knew this was going to be the first thing. I there, there are a lot of rumors. Why don't you tell us I what you've heard? What have I you heard? heard? And then we will, you know, we will tell you the truth of it. Let me pull up a picture. Hang on one sec. While Watto, start talking really quick while I bring this well, up. I'm, I'm spying some things right now. As I look around the screen, I see a Lucasfilm teeth. I see a Lucasfilm hoodie. I see a Rancor. I see some Lego sets. What am I looking at here? The the Mos Eisley Canteen. Mos Eisley. Oh, we got Darth Vader. Oh, maybe I don't we need to. We got the, the ITX transport from Galaxy's Edge. We got oh. the Razor Quest. That's all in my two build pile. Huh. Huh. You guys have a lot of Legos. A lot of Legos. And I, I, I and will a lot of Lucasfilm. This is from Lucasfilm from Iceland. Uh, and that okay. and that's that relates to this rumor that's going around about us. Yeah. This rumor that, that we'd like I'm, to address officially. Well, we have I'm, not discussed it publicly until now. I'm is trying this to find this is exclusive. This is an exclusive. Yeah. I'm trying yeah, to find a picture. I know there was a picture posted and now I can't find it. Oh, did you guys scrub the picture? <laughs> you scrub the picture? <laughs> did you scrub the picture? Are we talking um, to a couple of scrubbers? Um, I don't want to scrub. There is a picture on my Twitter feed of of the alleged uh, thing that you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm back pretty far though. Do we I remember? I cannot believe you said it. It was, it was like in mid November. Mid November. Oh, already. I'm not far enough back. Remember, remember the mid of November. Um. Well, then, let's start this. Let's start with this. How are you? How are your guys' life day going? Oh wait, never mind. I've got it. Okay, yeah, that was just that wasn't a well, real that, question. That was just a, with the chit chat. He was just okay. buying some time so we now really had to nail you guys on. Huh. Special thanks on the Lego Star special. Wars holiday special on special. Disney Plus. Benji Samet, Dan Hernandez. How? Why? Yeah. When? Who? Wow. Cool. Wow. And would you like to take this opportunity in case you haven't already to offer some special your welcomes? Well, here here's what I'm gonna say. There are there are there are rumors that Benji and I worked uh, on the holiday, the Lego holiday Star Wars special, which is set on Life Day, and I'd like to dispel those rumors out of respect to George and the original holiday special uh, publicly, and say that's untrue. I don't know who that Dan Hernandez and Benji Samet. Whoa! Oh, oh wow! It was He's not really us. Right there. it was, there's not. There's, there's, there's no evidence. Not, there's no evidence that we ever went to Lucasville. There is not one physical piece of evidence to suggest that we where'd went. You that, where'd you get that swag? What swag? This is from Lucas Films in Iceland. I told you. Yeah, this is fresh from Iceland. Um, and th okay. this is. I, I hate to ruin the, the the fantasy that you had that we were involved. With, What's that? With thank Le you for with What's Lego Star Wars. I'm not interested in Lego or Star Wars. And What's the special thanks for what you do. They don't just send out, give out those little thank yous for nothing. You got they, special they, they, we because it is true that they asked us. Yeah, and maybe this is maybe this is part of it. And we said, out of respect to retired filmmaker George Lucas, That's the me. father of the franchise that we love the most, and Wado, and Wado. Yeah. And we, want, we don't want to have anything to do with this. And I suspect that the thank you was for us reality checking them right. mm -hmm. in that moment and making them realize that, uh, that it was disrespectful. So uh, that's probably, that's probably what Bobby Moynihan friend of the show did too. That's my guess. Bobby. No, Bobby did it. Bobby sold you out in, in a party. second. Bobby was there. I wow. it on. Hey, yeah. I, 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 I don't feel a lot of disclosures happening right now. That's my no. feeling. I'm getting a feeling that I'm, I know when I'm not being disclosed to or upon. No. I, I get the feeling, you know, I'm starting to wonder, I'm starting to wonder, you know, you look around and you find, uh, you know, little pieces of paper, you know, just an ordinary, this has got nothing on it. It's just a little piece of paper. 
But there's some pieces of paper in the world that have that lawyers will print a bunch of words on, and they'll sure. they'll make people sign them. Yeah, mm -hmm. and these mm -hmm. and these these words they'll cause people to keep secrets forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Things you could never tell anybody because mm -hmm. you signed your name on a little form. And even if you have done this, part of the form would say you can't ever tell anybody that you signed the form. Mm -hmm. Not ever. Mm -hmm. secret lasts forever. Mm -hmm. You couldn't even confirm that such a thing would be possible. What I can say is we've seen a lot of those forms in our life. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can't say and whether we've life day. This is life day. But we've we've seen them. We've seen those forms that you speak of. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's, as far, that's as far as we're getting with you is that you've there seen. Was, there were forms. ugly rumors that we had come on the show and not disclosed that we no. had, in fact, worked in uh, the galaxy far, far away. But I, I know a coded message when I see one. You might have signed non-disclosure forms that you can never disclose anything from, even the existence of the non-disclosure forms. But then you come on the show and there's a part of you deep down inside that doesn't like doesn't like keeping secrets, even though you have to, you have no choice. So you, you're not disclosing. You're not disclosing. But you send a message. You say, hey, Uncle George, look. Look at this clothes I'm wearing. <laughs> you see this clothes? <laughs> you see that clothes? Look at this clothes. You are not disclosing anything, but you are, you are, it is a bright neon sign that's saying, look at this clothes. That's the key. And you think I don't see turn on a master storyteller, and I know what happened. I will say this. Mm -hmm. Whoever was in that room pitched a lot of water centric material because we are concerned about him keeping his SAG after status. I appreciate that because they made the minimums much higher this year because <laughs> of COVID and their recession. But George, yeah. I, watch George I think something yes. should be made clear. Yes. Maybe they are telling the truth because I know for a fact that almost anyone, almost anyone who wants it and goes through the lengths, can buy these sweatshirts. What? Oh. Not, 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 not the red one. Wow. A literal, <laughs> a, literal, a literal turncoat. What the fuck? Yeah, if you wanted what the red fuck? one, for instance, Benji, where would you have to go to get that? Just yeah, the red five. Oh, oh right. you're right. I'm blue, I'm blue five, the guy who dies in Rogue One. Now... Here's what I wonder. Patrick. Now, Patrick is clearly, Patrick has just sold out the show. He's he's on <laughs> team, team NDA. He's doing everything he can to bolster this. And I'm starting to wonder if maybe some sort of secret deal was hatched with the 1600 pen guys to get you to call off your dogs in terms of your pointless pursuit of the 1600 pen Twitter follower, follower total. Did you make a deal to stop chasing that, that yeah, number? Did, did, we, did we bribe him? I'm just saying, friends of the mouse got to stick together, you know? I'm wondering if you got a free hoodie to stop trying to catch oh. up to 1,600 men on Twitter. The friends of the mouse. Listen, there's a lot of, this is, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of people talk to other people every day in this town, you know? Yeah. Who's yeah. to say what's said? Yeah. That, Who's that's, to say? You, some people can't say anything ever. Some people can't disclose anything, you know, especially, even if especially this year. There's all sorts of oh, backdoor yeah. zooms going on. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it, you know, theoretically, whoever those guys were in the room uh, were invited to uh, the Presidio to see the home base itself and uh, took a tour of, 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 of the fabled Lucasfilm. Did, did, was it us? It wasn't, I, I wasn't it us, but whoever those guys are, they must have had some really good jokes. And they had an amazing day. <laughs> Let's say this. Let's say hypothetically. <laughs> hypothetically, if if those guys were really proud of any jokes that made it into some specials, would you would you think of which ones might they might be proud of? Um, just as just asking you as professionals, because you know yeah. a good joke when you see one. So all you have to do yeah. is say, "I like that joke." The joke we that those guys pitched that actually made the cut that was enjoyed was the the clone troopers saying, "Sometimes I feel like we're the same person." Yes, and they have the uh, their their little brainstorm. But 
But but those guys also must have spent most of that session just pitching uh, Star Wars holiday song parodies that, for rights issues, could never make it into the show. <laughs> Look, I want to say something. I feel like we need to clear the air here, okay? Okay. Because Benji, Dan, you're speaking in a, a labyrinthian code, <laughs> but I understand it is because you are Hollywood bigwigs and you have careers to protect, families to protect, and most importantly, NDAs to protect. And as far this as is, I'm concerned, this, this is the way. Have done, it's the way, we, and we recognize that. And you've done right by your agreements, and you've done right by us. But there is a bigger issue at hand to discuss, which is how Patrick got this fucking hoodie. Because as far as I'm concerned, there are only two possibilities. One, it is a case of stolen valor. <laughs> two, We have a rat in our midst. <laughs> we thought he was working for the George Lucas talk show, but really, he was on the inside ratting us out. I'm going to just pose a scenario, mm -hmm. and you can respond to it in whatever way that you choose. And, yeah. and that scenario is this. Let's say that I were someone intimately involved with the Star Wars franchise as as its new steward. Sure. Let's say. Sure. Hypothetically. Who Hypothetically. would I be the most afraid of in the world of derailing the plans for my franchise or perhaps issuing a public statement of disapproval, mm -hmm. offering alternative ways to run the franchise? Mm hmm Retired think, filmmaker George Lucas, who, while it says retired, we all know retirements uh, come to an end. I'll yeah. say this. I'll say this, guys. Hypothetically, in a hypothetical world, if I had ever visited the Lucasfilm campus and I was talking to someone who was bringing me around and I said, oh, you know, I actually produced this show. And then hypothetically, they could have cut me off and said, yes, we know. Very quick. I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. All I'm saying is yeah. that if I were that company, it would be actually irresponsible not to place someone yeah. close to George. Well, yeah. you, you keep your, your friends close and your enemies closer. Yeah. Oh, my God. Now and you're going to quote my, buddy, my, my mentor's film. You're going to quote my mentor's film at me. That's right. Mm. And, um, and that's all I would say about that. I didn't. I don't have any firsthand knowledge of this. I'm just saying that strategically, as a strategic thinker, it, yeah. it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And, and listen, the, those people at the gift shop, they talk. They talk. They, they have talk. the gift of gab. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the ultimate gift. Do you, guys, do you guys have any life day wishes? My life day wish is, is for you to unrelated yeah, followers as 1600 pen. Um, hey, anybody, anyone who's watching the show right now who doesn't follow Patrick Cottonar on Twitter, let's give him a little bump tonight for Life Day. Let's let's I, go. I, I know, imagine a lot of you already do, but let's let's like he's only you're only about a thousand away, aren't you? At this point, you're really yeah, catching up. I've I've, I've followed sixteen hundred pen for you know what going on seven eight years now. Uh, I've been following. I, I followed that account before I followed Patrick. So, but then I followed Patrick, and it, it evened it out. It yeah. evened it oh, out. Okay. oh, I thought you were gonna. I but I, could, I, I guess I could unfollow you right now. What? Right? Oh, I mean, unfollow you. This is part of the deal. <laughs> That's a weird deal. This it's deal's getting worse by the minute. This deal's getting worse by the minute. Worse by the minute. Um, Dan, what is your what is what is your life day wish? Uh, 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 no, <laughs> Max Repo. Um, my my life day wish is. Hey, we're heard, getting everybody together. I've heard some rumors. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, good, good, good Fortuna. He, good Fortuna. You know, he's, <laughs> he went through a lot. And, no yeah. spoilers. No spoilers. Um, my life day wish is that Watto would restage Watto about me, but this time uh, as an equity production with an equity cast. <laughs> no deal. Well, no that's, deal. I, that's, well, 
You're only hurting yourself. That's my opinion. Mm -hmm. I, I heard your show was Tony nominated. Yeah. And and by technicality, yes, yes. 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 By technicality, yeah. yes. But I also, we talked about this earlier in this stream. The last time I did my show, it's a week later, there was a global pandemic. And I'm worried what will happen if I do the show a second time. I th I, I don't I, I don't know how we heighten from there. Maybe it'll cancel out the pandemic. Dan, oh. I'll say this. Dan and Benji, if you guys want to see the show, maybe I could hypothetically slip you a link. Well, now that we have a a, a relation a business relationship, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll we'll send you another hoodie. Put it in our shared Dropbox. Uh, yeah. One thing that we've been having all of our guests say before we let you go, we've been trying to get McClunkies clean from everybody. Mm -hmm. Can we get that for you? Mm -hmm. I mean, a clean McClunky is that's an oxymoron, <laughs> but sure. McClunky. Can I do mine with a with an alien wind up? I'm getting on a hunt. Yes, a McClunky. That's good. That's good. You guys are the best. <laughs> you guys are the best. Best Thank in the business. You. Best in the biz. Happy Thank Life Day. Happy Life Day, George. Happy Life Day, guys. Okay, we'll see you guys soon. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs> and now I believe we are only a few minutes away from Mando Monday. Yeah, we'll do it once we switch over the stream. But I have one more guest that I want to bring on for a few minutes because she is exhausted. She had a long night and we're about to oh, hear her. Tired. Okay, here she comes. Right. I'm going to bring her in. What's Whoa. up? Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. 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 Ten now, years Sarah, of that, huh? <laughs> Sarah, we don't want to keep you. You're exhausted. Let's I'm let's so... get you under control. I need to introduce you so you can officially be on the show. How do you want to be introduced? Introduce me with your voice and tell them who I am. I'm Sarah. You want me to just do it myself? What do you want to do your job for you? No, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, okay wait you... a second. Grow Grooves and Grow Grass. Very excited about our next guest. You know them best as the voice of Big Baby Bagel Bites. Sarah Meadow, Timmy. <laughs> my greatest work, my crowning achievement. Thank our, you so much the for the turn of our first live stream guest, Sarah Nato Cheney. I'm the what? I'm the you're first. The, you are our first guest on our first live stream show. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> I'm inaugural. Very beginning. That's right. Oh, stop it! Stop it! And now, that is and now you're the eighty-third guest of our show today. I'm the third. 83rd. 83rd? Jesus Christ. That's a lot of yeah. people we had on there. That's a lot of people. I'm not so special yeah. anymore. But I started a trend. Is that what you're saying? Or yeah. yeah. And you you, you set the term limits. Yeah. So I set the limits. Yeah. The term so, limits. How was your night? Tell us about why you're exhausted. Who oh boy. Uh, okay. I I produced... So do you know the Brick Theater in, in Brooklyn? Just yeah. say it. Mm -hmm. um, so the Brick Theater opened their doors during the Black Lives Matter protests after George Floyd was mur murdered and all these protesters were out and about in the middle of a pandemic. And they opened their doors and supplied the theater with sanitizer and toilet paper and all the stuff they needed. And they stopped accepting donations for the and a theater. Obviously, you know, you, you couldn't do theater. You can't, you still can't do theater. So they stopped accepting donations for themselves. They diverted all the funds to, to uh, exactly what you guys were doing, actually. Same, same deal. So I wanted to help out. So I got 50 of my friends on Pokemon. That's what I, that's what, besides Big Baby Bagel Bite, I'm also uh, the voice of Ash Ketchum on Pokemon. And I got, it's actually uh, still set up for that. <laughs> I, uh, I was going to, I was going to change that. Um, never. I, I'll never change, not, not for you. Uh, I got 50 uh, Pokemon voice actors to appear and do a spelling bee, a very Poke spelling bee. And we did it. And oh, uh, spoiler alert, I won. It's hey. my second spelling bee, my second win. I'm very what? excited. Maybe I should change Can my Can you career. share with us what the final word was? What was the final Pokemon word that won you the, the turn? You'd think I'd remember that, actually. I remember the word I lost on. That's who I am. I remember my failures better. I, I lost my first spelling bee as a child on the word concoct. 
I remember that, but I can't remember what I did 10 minutes ago. So, Hey, I get it. I don't know. But it was all Pokemon names. So pretty fun. Where'd you go, Patrick? Don't I had to go. Exactly. I, we're about to switch stream yards, and I had to tell our next guest that we were coming in. And uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't um, believe the word he says. He is a liar. A liar. So yeah. yeah, so I produced it. I like did all the graphic. It, like every every day was like a new thing, and I'm like, if you do a graphic here, you need a sound effect. You need a song. You need this and that, and it became like a TV show. Yeah. So I my apartment is disgusting. I really am not excited to clean it because it's just so like every dish is used. Every single one. It's all over my kitchen. It's disgusting. Um, dish I'm girl. Dish. Huh? Ice, ice dish. Dish. How disgusting. Dish. Discussion. Dish girl, dish. Dish girl, dish. Dish girl. Wait, what does dish girl sound like? Oh, what does dish girl sound like? Your dish girl's voice. I really want to think about this one. Okay. We can come back to it at the end. We can come back to it. Think about uh, dish girl voice. Sure, sure. Uh, okay, I, I just had the thought. I, I'm very sorry, Sarah. I said that cat was being a rat, but I realized I should translate that for you. Patata. Was being a rat at her. <laughs> what don't you know about Watto? You are so you're so diverse in your knowledge. And Watto, Watto, you're so you. diverse, Watto. You're so diverse. <laughs> your diversity can, knows no bounds. I can be naughty or, or nice. nice. <laughs> ah, look at you. Oh, wonderful. Oh, wonderful. Uh, Sarah, what is your what is your life day wish? My life day wish. Uh, well, I have many, obviously, good health for all and, yeah. and health care for all would be nice. Yeah, I mean, I could yeah. really go down a, a rabbit hole uh, to stop saying rabbit hole. That'd be nice. Make sure, it yeah. like a, a, uh, I didn't have I didn't have rabbit hole on my 2020 bingo card. Yeah, I saw my first 2020 bingo card. I'm like, oh, maybe I should share that to Instagram. And no. then I quickly decided. No, no, no. Don't no. Throw I, let's throw those 2020 bingo cards under yeah. the bus. Yeah, you, I you know what I didn't have on my 2020 bingo card? What? Uh, I, I didn't have blank on my blank bingo card being the joke of the year. That was not on my bingo card. Yeah. I have a bad feeling about that joke. I don't like it. Uh, well, I haven't had COVID. I hope I don't get COVID. Good. That's good. I hope my friends who don't believe in COVID, who get COVID, now believe in COVID and stop not believing in COVID. Sarah, um, I need to tell you something. Yeah. You got to stop having those friends. Well, I, I like to diversify. I like to be friends with everyone. It's time to dump those friends. Nah. Nah. She wants I don't, to be I don't, I don't block people. Huh? Oh, wow. Patrick's trying to, to Patrick be. is uh, known in these parts as the boot scooting baby. He's trying to boot you away from your friends. No, this, no, no. This is a year. Okay. I'll say it for me. This is a year where Patrick has seen people who don't believe in that stuff. And Patrick says, all right, I don't need to be friends with them anymore. Bye-bye. Yeah. But you should also know Patrick's relationship to the boot, Sarah. Oh. The boot? He used, the boot? He used to lick the boot. He licks the boot, yeah. But now he wears the boot and he uses it Just to boot the guests. Boots. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are, are you, wait, are you saying my time is limited? I know I was like, eh, I'm so tired. Now, you know, now what, once we get on the stage, you're like, I'm ready to do. Well, I would hang out with you on this because I want to hear what Dish Girl sounds like. Yeah. I would never boot you. I'm just letting you know the risk when Patrick is on the yeah. screen. I'll say I'm it's sure. going to happen. It's just a matter of when. Okay. And and when we and when we hear Dish Girl, we want to get a clean read of Dish Girl saying the word McClunky. <laughs> McClunky. <laughs> a clean read of the word McClunky. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but we want to hear a little bit from Dish Girl first. Ah! I really need someone to come over and do that for me. And if McClunky doesn't get here really soon, I'm going to start eating from dirty dishes. That's the truth. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> All right, now let's get one clean McClunky from Dish Girl. McClunky! <laughs> great, great, great. Sarah, you're the best. Sarah. 
thank you for coming. Look at that. Out. Isn't it a great cut? It's a great, it's natural. It's really, it's really it's good. It's all natural. It's really great. good. That's my Christmas wish to have a haircut like yours, have a nose like Watto's, and a beard like George Lucas. Uh, it's all, it can all be yours. Thank you. It's the perfect ski slope nose. It's beautiful. Beautiful. It's the, it's the perfect cupcake hair. Mm hmm. It's you guys are beautiful. Endless beard. Yes. Gorgeous. Well, Thank you All so right. much for having me. This was happy very fun, day, very Sarah. lovely. Yes, happy life day to you. Take care. You're the, you're the best, Sarah. Yes, thank you. So, no, you are. George, Crazy. Otto, we got to switch over live stream. So, everyone hang out here and we'll see you in one second. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Hey, well, I'm bringing in the guest, Watto. I'm going to go.